The Opie and Anthony Show. Make it red, Sam. Apparently, um, there's an exodus out of Anthony's asshole. Because he's still not back. Yeah. And uh, I just cut a guess or two. So, Anthony, here he comes, running in. I bet his cheeks are all sore. Are, are, are your ass cheeks rubbing together like there's a vinegar and no, onion potato it's not, chip in them? It's not bad. Does it feel like you have a, a popcorn kernel you in your asshole? I'm good. Ugh. It wasn't too bad. Too was bad. It was a nine-minute shit. <laughs> was that that long? Yeah, from before the break. I was, oh, because I, I... You know what? Phones make you sit there longer. They do. You just sit. Mm. You read. It's nice. You don't need a paper. Oh, see, I'm always aiming in the toilet and taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Twittering them. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, well. Wait, 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 what are you going to do? Otto's, Otto's coming is in. He is? Uh, is he? I just saw him. He's right there. Oh, there he is. Well, let him come in. Bring him I know, in. I know you did. I'm just, I'm just asking. Come on in there, Otto. Let me get out of the way. Hold on. Otto. Otto. Here he comes. Let's go. Is the door locked? <laughs> I don't know. Open come the on. Door. Is that possible? The door's got it. Is he so frail? <laughs> is the What's door locked? Otto? Uh, Otto, you couldn't open the door. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It's about fucking time. Hi, buddy. Was the, uh, was the door locked? No. no, I was stupidly pulling on it. Oh. Yeah. oh <laughs> open the door, not. Yeah. How are you guys, man? Good. Oh. Soapy. He's in oh, L.A. In. They, dude, he, did, he taped something for a TV show, and they, they're doing a wraparound tonight like uh, in front of the audience. L.A. Oh, right. <laughs> it's yeah, like uh, one of them uh, reality candid camera kind of shows. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he did one, and then a, a few other people did it, and then they bring them all back in front of a studio audience or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to get a show like that done, actually, but they, they thought oh. my pranks were fucking too bad. Uh, example? Alan Funt. Yeah, something Alan like that. Funt. <laughs> but there's a like you, you go to the hospital and uh, uh -huh. the maternity ward. Oh, this sounds fun. And then I have like a goof doctor come in, mm -hmm. and uh, when the, when the, they ask how the kid is, the doctor goes, "I'm sorry, but it was born dead." <laughs> <laughs> and then when the family breaks down, like a week a week later, you call him and you go, we're just joshing. You let him sit for a week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, that's that's an awful thought. That would Why? be a that's terrible. A good, that's a great show. Who wouldn't watch that to see what happens? <laughs> well, I might watch it. I might watch it to, <laughs> to see, see what... all weepy like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Jim's Wacky Pranks. Yeah. Jim's Wacky Pranks? Stunts. Is that a working title? I yeah. hope. No, <laughs> <the> title. Stinks. <laughs> Jim's Wacky Pranks. And Jim, you look so sweet. Belt, right? Well, you're talking it does, about right? The skinny Thank Jimmy. Yeah, great. right. The tuna with fucking low fat mayo, and it's good, man. Yeah. But his fucking pants. He yeah. still has fat pants. He does? Yeah, he's bit. got a belt on there. <laughs> Not even a little bit. They're like out to here on him. Really? Yeah, he's got to buy some. You look all good. Buy yourself some nice, good, nice looking clothes. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I drank too much coffee. Did you? Yeah, got oh, bitter. No. Uh, well, it's good to be back in the States, man. I just did this thing in Canada called the Cold Dark January Tour. What the hell is that? They they try and get people back into the clubs because after the holidays it slows off. So uh -huh. they bring in some American comedians. They fucking hated me in Ajax, Canada. I bombed all four shows. Well, because it's clean. No, uh, I mean I, I go Ajax. I, I, yeah, I go. Yeah, your toilet bowls don't, don't look any cleaner. That's hacky, but it had to be said. Uh, Ajax. And then they go uh, the cold dark. It's cold and dark up here. You weren't kidding. And George goes, Yeah, like Whitney Houston's pussy. And everybody went. <laughs> Uh, come on. Yeah, and then I come back and I go, well, I didn't say Celine Dion, your fucking golden Canadian songbird. Titanic sucked. It was just an animosity. They hated me. Uh. And, and then the other comic, they treat the Canadian comics really poorly up there. And he was killing with his French accent. He had a decent act, but he, he, he kept his French accent going the entire time. He never broke character. <laughs> And he was doing more and more time on every show, and I was shortening my set. Oh, man. And they put me in this fucking hotel that's plopped down in the middle of, like, a suburban neighborhood. And um, the restaurant only opens for breakfast and dinner. So what I was just fuck? eating a big breakfast and then going and hibernating and hoping I would die in my sleep. <laughs> and I couldn't eat dinner because I'm in my show mode by then. 
And it was just, I was like um, uh, Martin Sheen in Apocalypse Now by the third day. I was going insane. <laughs> going from that one box to another box. Oh, man. And that I was trying to terrible. write jokes about the news. There was an escaped wolf. Somebody, some knucklehead cut a <laughs> hole. in Canada. Yeah. Some guy cut a hole in a fence of a nature preserve, and these wolves escaped. So there's, there was werewolves, like wolves <laughs> werewolves. wandering around the neighborhood. And I, and I go... You guys hear about that? Wolves walking around? They, no, go go check the hockey score again, you fucking idiots. <laughs> you know, they, they had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> I know I know what joke I would have done. This would have been a hit. <laughs> I would have said, uh, it's like werewolves, but that's what people were asking. Oh, <laughs> they're wolves. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> awful. That would have got a tremendous <laughs> amount that made yeah, me fucking want to punch you. <laughs> yeah. You play wow. Canada over there, Bob? I did a tour in Canada uh, two years ago from one side to the other. and But it was one of those just for laughs. Tour. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, the hang on. Same, there's a fat joke at the in there. Same time. <laughs> <laughs> it was just one show in the middle of the country. <laughs> I, was, I gotta say that was a good one. Uh, it's shit. a big fucking country, right? It's it's, it's fuck. I love it, but I, we did play in some places that you're like these people just don't get me. Really? They, you, they, you had that? There's there's a couple people on the show, Canadian comics. They fucking killing. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fucking destroy. Yeah. And then you go up and they're just looking at you like, you we sense animosity towards americans like they don't like us they huh. think we're violent like no nah, i mean look man i don't know no I, i've always i never sensed that i mean fucking canada's us yeah it's it just is. a lighter you version you have a you know? horrible show and then a great show it made no sense right canada yeah. isn't us bobby yeah, not that. at all bobby. it ain't fucking no. even us no way they look the same it's great but that whole mentality, that Canadian yeah. fucking mentality, nothing like us. Yeah, they're olive oil they're, voices they're and they're overly friendly, charm. like the people in Fargo. They were they follow, yeah, yeah. they're very friendly, but there's an underlying sadness it's right like, below the surface. You know what it is? It's like <laughs> yeah. the, it's like brothers. It's like brothers. They're they're close. You know, you got your brothers, but one has like been to jail and shit. And the yeah. other one went to school and did a. <laughs> that's what we are. We're the fucking degenerates. Yeah. with the prison tats all over us. Yeah, but so, but but some part of Canada, it's the same fucking landmass. And you have to go through all these customs. I don't get yeah, that yeah. shit. I'm yeah. still here. Yeah, but some <laughs> some parts of Canada are cool. Montreal, Toronto, uh, Vancouver. But the, yeah. you know, and then you, there's other parts where you go and you're like, "Fuck me!" Like you know, you're smoking a butt outside and there's deer running by your fucking yeah yeah. It's, I always that, think the Canada looks like 1960s like America. Winnipeg, yeah. like the roads look fucking old. It is weird. It's, Winnipeg does that, and Winnipeg you everything's underground. Yeah. So in the winter, because it's so fucking cold. Ever, like you in the hotel, you go down one level to the mall that attaches the whole fucking city. Yeah, that's so Montreal too. You pop right? up like little gophers every once in a while. How you live like and, that? And, and the mall is like an old mall, so it's like that old fucking seventies fucking yeah, yeah. feel. Yeah, it's a little. I'd lose that's my mind depressing. up there. One of the best looking waitresses I've ever seen were in Vancouver. It oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Girl. Was was stunning. I couldn't really. I, I couldn't I love focus. That. Did you flirt act? with her? <laughs> you know me. Oh, and then I, I, I was on the <laughs> phone with my me. mother, and I'm telling her about um, Ajax. She goes, why don't you go down to the lobby and find somebody your own age to talk to? That was her advice. Jesus I'm going to go annoy Christ. some Canuck. You know? <laughs> it's cold out, eh? You know, I'm going to do that. Don't That's you know me by now? That's motherly advice, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Find someone your own age to talk to. You just said <laughs> how fucking God. great that would be if you walked down the lobby and just saw him looking around. <laughs> yeah. You! Yeah. Come here. How yeah. old are you? Let me see your license. <laughs> <laughs> You're Stupid advice, Mark. You ever think about sicking a guy's cock just for, just not to be bored? <laughs> Come over here, let's talk. Yeah. Why is your eyebrow missing? What do you mean? <laughs> I got weird. My eye. You mean this side? <laughs> your eye. Bobby <laughs> just spit his coffee out. <laughs> because your oh, eyebrow this, missing. I never noticed. This that. was a bad cut. Oh, I, I never noticed. That. And, and oh. the hair never grew back after they ripped the bandage. I off. never and noticed ow. that. No. Uh, I noticed up, it, right? but I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. This, it's just a comic <laughs> asshole. Why is yeah. your Eyebrow, eyebrow Dude, missing. all these years I've never noticed that, so I thought maybe it's, you it's shaved it or relatively no. No, I didn't shave oh, it. Oh, it is new. Even okay. More oh, psychotic. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, do you keep it to yourself how you got the cut or? No, I, I fell down drunk in Atlantic City, oh. and my arms didn't go up, so I oh, split my head man. open. I go, I'm going to keep gambling. My friend Johnny L goes, dude, you got a vagina on your forehead. <laughs> you have to go get stitched up. When did this happen? 
I don't know, a few years ago. Oh, I, wow. I was really I was in the sports room, and oh. and they give you a, a ticket for every fucking bet you make. So I was just pounding tequila, and I fell down and split my God, face. God, I wish open. I would have seen that. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, man. So yeah, yeah, you was... went down with your arms just to your side. Yeah, when you're drunk, you, you're, you're, your arms oh, don't pop up shit. normally. Yeah. You're telling him? Yeah. <laughs> really? no, not good. I've never done the face plant like that. No, it was I've bad. slipped on the ice. That's the worst I did, like three or four Christmases ago. I went outside <laughs> to make sure my poop pump cover pumps were working and uh, uh i went out and i was pretty hammered and it was icy just sheet of ice in my backyard and i fucking slipped just... went out to the side went right on my elbow it was oh, God. Yeah. yeah it was cute. you were a little girl elbow, underwear that, yeah that's that's, fucking that's elbow. smart dude up until about a year ago yeah it still fucking hurt it, did. it was bad you might have chipped the bone. Is there like a loose chunk of bone in there? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. sitting there until oh, something grows around it. But, uh, oh, did I go down? You did? Oh, I went fucking down. Yeah. In, on hard. your own property, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of suing Borgata, but they, they didn't seem like I had a case. <laughs> you yeah, know? The drunk. Yeah, yeah. they got down. me on camera pounding tequila. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, going yeah, to see Al Pacino Friday on Broadway. I want to see oh, him. Right. No, we'll fucking I got tell tickets. me how to get tickets. I'll buy them. Oh, I got tickets. It's the night before closing, and I'm bringing my oh, copy. Oh, shit. I got a copy of um, the movie Scarecrow with Gene Hackman oh, wow, yeah. to get him to sign. I figure he might react to that because it's a real obscure movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Instead of shoving Scarface I want to go the night know? before with my copy of Scarecrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Friday dick. afternoon. What an asshole. And I, yeah. After he signs it, I want to go, yeah, there's some guy bootlegging these outside, then he'll show up with his. <laughs> Should I go language every time they curse? It's <laughs> Glengarry. There's a lot of cursing, right? Yes. He's doing the Jack Lang I know, he's doing older. Shelly. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. And the guy from Boardwalk Empire. Bobby Cannavale is I fucking love amazing. Yeah. Oh, he's great. He showed yeah. his dick on, on HBO. Big, big huge yeah, big, You see that really? scene? Yeah. Huge dick. On Boardwalk Empire. They there's did a, a scene where he's completely naked and his cock is hanging out and he's shooting people. Yeah. It wasn't... Uh, they used a bo they used yeah. the boom, too, so they swung up yeah. over his, and then up over his head and his, just panned a up big, his cock. But it wasn't chunk a of meat sticking out, right? prosthetic device? Yeah. No, was dude, that was his cock. That's got to be hard to do, like... It with is. the pressure of, yeah. of a... Here like, you don't want to have small dick on camera. No, he had a nice so size dick. I don't blame dick. him for showing it it's at all. It's going to give you like, ah, shit, I'd be, I'd, I would want a fluffer. <laughs> yeah, I, would yeah. have to, I, would have to, I would have to literally turn down the show. It, it, yeah. it would, it would be a career-changing moment. Right. Like, yeah. fire, and I'd have to go, I can't do this because my dick is so small. Like on, I have a grower, not a shower. I would have to, literally, someone would have to rub, guitar my yeah. dick every fucking well, three seconds. There's a, there's a point where your dick looks amazing yeah. and looks like it isn't fucking getting hard. Yeah. Like it's the the perfect like like just plumped up but still hanging. Oh Not, once it starts sticking straight out, I think they'll know the, you're cheating. Hey, I, I, I have that's so hard on. I, I have small. I, I know. I have small and hard. That's all I have. I, I have no middle ground. Guys, really? No. I think black guys' dicks don't telescope like white men. That's why that myth about them having bigger right, dicks. Right, right. It's, it's always just, the same size. The same size. It just gets harder. Yeah. Oh, oh, interesting in theory. Yeah. Interesting theory. Yeah. Interesting theory. Yeah. yeah. Mine yeah. goes from a little <laughs> wild mushroom to just a, a little stick. That's it. I, I've That's told this it. story plenty of times. Like in, in Boston, there was these chicks, and they were coming out of a fucking uh, uh, bachelorette party where they got the guys dancing and shit like that. And they were all horned up in the parking lot. And me and Opie had just done a fucking uh, uh, an event at another bar that was right next to it. So we're out by the cars, and these girls are like, show us your cocks. They're fucking <laughs> Boston. Cost. Show us your fucking cock. Hey, fucking yeah, yeah. kid, show me your dick, Come kid. Come on, where's your cocks, you motherfucker? <laughs> so, uh, so I'm fucking pretty drunk and shit. I'm like, yeah, all right, but you got to fucking show me yours yeah. after we're done. You Her know? cock? Nice yeah. and mature. Yeah, show <laughs> me your cock, you fucking... I want to see some lieutenant. pussy and shit. Yeah. Um, so the thought of this... <laughs> Started getting me like a little excited, you know, sure. but it was tempered with the nervousness of, you know, I'm whipping my dick out in a parking lot and shit, but it was the perfect <laughs> storm. It was the perfect storm of, of it's not going to get hard and look like a hard on, <laughs> but it's not going to be a little fucking, you know, nub. Yeah. So I just whipped it out and the fucking, I remember the girls looked and went like, and, and Opie said he was around the other side of the van and he heard them go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's and then she goes, she, one girl goes, can I touch it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And so she just starts like 
just thumb and forefingering the Jesus, head. My dick is getting hard telling and the story. She, it's a petting zoo. And she's she's gone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of yeah. petting zoo. Like a small dirty llama. <laughs> yeah, she's going, she put a quarter nice. in a gumball machine and fed it oats. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gone. This is nice. Oh, she rubbed the nub like, and the she's head. She's like yeah, oh, rubbing nice. the, the head and shit. Hmm. I was like, ah, cool. And then I'm just like, all right, let me see what the fuck you got. And then yeah. she pulled her dress up. Oh god. And and pulled her panties down. Like fucking, you know, feed me. Like, and, and, and this big roll of fat just came out and like uh, toppled down over her pussy. It was uh, terrible. Your her, dick went away. I definitely got the down. better part of that deal. <laughs> uh, hope he wouldn't show his penis, he said. No, he said he was all like scrunched he up. Samuel tiny. the shy <laughs> sea lion. Yeah. He didn't want to show. <laughs> That's because it's see through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. You, you want to have that perfect. Doesn't look like you got a rod. Yeah, mm. but it doesn't look like you know. It's just hey, it's like this every day. Semi hey, filmed up. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, have keep it. <laughs> no, no. Nah, I think the weight too. Once you get it's past, you know, certain fat, it's like. I think you, what is it? The, you get like a half an inch back with every fucking ten pounds. I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. really? what do you I have, have a seventeen inch dick. Do you have a fatty pubis? <laughs> yeah, a bush fat. Yeah, I got some bush fat. You got some bush fat. But no, it's the blood. Oh. It doesn't go. What? Like your bush dick fat. hangs. You yeah. need dick hangs. That's because you get some blood in it. Like I, like I don't. My dick doesn't. I've. I've pissed on my balls. <laughs> when I when I you know when you're taking a shit and you piss, I've pissed on my balls. I didn't think that was possible. Over like a fountain. Yeah. What? I think that was possible. Yeah. Yeah, I pissed right on my fucking sack. You've pissed on your balls. Yeah, that's yeah. that doesn't seem to now you push your dick down. And Ew, you... you have a little nub sticking out of your well, puke it's, fat. It's not a dog dick, but <laughs> it's sticking it's out dirtier. of your puke fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like a... I don't. The hang isn't the way it used to be. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I, you lose the weight. I lose the weight. The hang will come back a little bit. Yeah, I think I you get shorter yeah. as the day goes on. Did you ever hear that? <laughs> What's that? You're, to you're 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 your tallest when you first wake up, and as the day goes on, the oh, like gravity, gravity pushes your spine down. Yeah, wow. you're shorter at the end of the day. I imagine that's a by a by only like probably only by eight or nine inches though. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> uh, just... That's funny. Yeah, that's uh. Wow. Yeah, I I would think. Remember those fat guys we had on uh, the show? It was years ago, and the guy had like no dick. It was completely yeah. in. You made yeah. him get naked, and like, well, why not? Well, wouldn't you? It yeah. was way back in the, the day. I like to call it yeah. the day. And they were like big, fat, fucking. Guys. I think one guy was like from Ron and Fez or something. Mm -hmm. And it literally had no dick. It looked like a vagina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he like pushed on his pubic. And it fat, popped out like a stress doll like, nose. Yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 It's uh. just, ugh, how do you fucking live? Yeah. How do you not shoot yourself in the head? Yeah, I know. When does it end? When are you going to stop and have some esteem? Ah, oh, something. Yeah. Are you guys talking to me? No. Oh, <laughs> <you guys laughs> was no, it was rhetorical <laughs> fucking degradation we were doing there. I didn't it's... know you got more dick when you lost weight. I lost you, 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 now, so I'm like, maybe my yeah, dick is better. Yeah, your dick, yeah, you lose some bush fat. When you lose bush fat, you, and plus the blood flow down to your yeah. cock, ah. it, makes it, uh, it makes it better. But I have big dick day and little dick day, too. Yeah. Like, sometimes... The blood really goes to my cock, and I can do a two-hander. But sometimes it's it's not that big. Like I can do two hands and a thumb. Wow. Sometimes, yeah. Damn. And sometimes it's just a one hand and you know a couple fingers and a thumb. <laughs> you know. There's a, a surgery that guys were having done years ago. I'm not sure if they still are, but yeah. uh, they would cut the ligament. There's like a ligament at the yeah. top of your dick where, when you're a kid, it's so fucking like new that you can't even push your dick down hard on and then you get older and your dick just kind of goes straight out right. like it's this ligament on it and they would cut the ligament so your dick would actually come out of your body a little oh like the like the internal part of your dick would like go Whoa. but doesn't it make your dick not as hard i would assume that you now you don't have that stand up straight hard on god damn it man don't so fuck with the dick so it's no! less attached to your torso than yeah yeah so it's just uh, holding in the, in the skin like a, right like the skin and muscle like a and roll stuff. of quarters in a sock in a charles <laughs> bronson movie yeah. like that yeah. it's just <laughs> I love when he swings it around and yeah. breaks yeah. open yeah. in the room he hits his own house plan <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you think it was supposed to break and go all over the place or uh, no, I don't, I, I don't it think was. it was supposed to. No, it looked like because he was swinging it around <laughs> yeah. and hitting the the chair and the table and stuff. Yeah. and then when they all flew out, he kind of looked like, ah, "What do I do now?" Just the idea of putting Charles Bronson in a New York subway was brilliant. He's so out of place. They're <laughs> yes. so not a New York face, you know. <laughs> and that was I the only movie. movie where he goes from non a non vi. He's not the killer that right. he is at the end. He's the transformation. So it's yeah, a bit yeah. of an acting job. Yeah, because he was like a kind yeah. of a liberal guy at the yeah. beginning. Uh, yeah, and uh, he never. 
never gets the guys. In no. all the other movies, he hunts down four or five guys and kills w- them all. W- what was he, an architect yeah. or something? Yeah. He's an architect. Paul yes. Kersey. Yeah, he had one of those. Paul Kersey, yeah. architect. Like Bra- fucking movie. Brady fucking tables. Yes. Yeah. Who would hire him to fucking make their house, though, with this fucking ruddy outdoor face? <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, no. Who well, like, would mug him? Would you mug Charles Manson? Right. Wouldn't you wait for the next guy, Tony <laughs> Randall, to come by? You know? You're going to jump the guy from fucking Great Escape? He went out to the. He went out west to go meet with the guy that yeah. was always on Love American Style. That fucking yeah, guy. Yeah, that dude, yeah. <laughs> Stuart Margolin. Oh, yeah. is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, meet with How him. How the fuck do you? remember that name, Stuart Margolin. And the guy head. just yeah, gives him a good. gun in a box and he takes it on the plane and yeah. goes home with it. Can, you, <laughs> can do, you can't do that now, right? No! Holy shit. Oh my god, it was crazy. Dude. Yeah. They're smoking on the plane. I smoked <laughs> on the plane. I remember I when I was 15. Movies. That's I smoked weird. on a plane. Really? Oh yeah, but when you could go to the store and just buy cigarettes like as a twelve-year-old, right? Yeah, yeah. It's 12 it was. Yeah, I, I was when they were shipping me back from Rochester to Boston for juvie jail. Oh, man. They had to put me on a plane, and I fucking I remember lighting up a cigarette. It was the best middle seat, fifteen, smoking a How butt, annoying. ashing in the wow. ashtray. How annoying for the people on the plane! I never smoke. smoked on a plane. I don't think it was annoying for people back then because they didn't uh, know they were so used to it. You yeah, know, everything Everywhere smoked. You went. Doctors. Everywhere you went had fucking would shriek the smoke. Doctors would walk in. Yeah, in the hospitals. They'd be walking the halls smoking a cigarette. Is that true? Yeah, yeah doctors. <laughs> and they, there were those fucking big, like the tubes with the sand in it, ashtrays everywhere. Yeah. Just <laughs> sitting there, you'd fucking stick your cigarette in there. Have a Chesterfield. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chesterfield. yeah. I smoke Kent. <laughs> I remember once my flight was delayed and I actually went out outside the airport to have a cigarette and, and I knew I was going to have to go right, you know, back in that fucking line again. I go, this is disgusting. Houston, I'm a I almost lost a flight for that reason. Yeah, I, was I felt so bad about myself. I go, can't you just read a book and have a <laughs> fucking juice and not smoke? <laughs> juice. You know, you just yeah. felt like a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah I, I remember like doing that. You could horrible. smoke everywhere. Everything that. reeked of smoke. Well, you'd go into stores like in the mall, yeah. in Macy's, and people are smoking around the clothes. There'd be burn marks in this shit. Like, they should have stopped that years ago just for economic reasons. Yeah, the Surgeon General didn't put that warning on until, like, I think the 60s or something, you know? And it said, and it was worded like, uh, Caution. It didn't say one. It said yeah. caution. Cigarette smoking may be hazardous, maybe hazardous to your yeah, health. Not, this and then they start going, you. ah, warning. Fuck, yeah. look out. But at first it was just, oh, well, we got to put something on. All right, hey, look. Ah, we don't know, yeah. but some people are saying. Now you open the bo- now you open it, it actually coughs when you open the top <laughs> yeah, of a fucking, yeah. a fucking dead baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I was in, I remember in Amsterdam smoking in line as I was giving the chick my ticket. Mm. Like, right when I was going on the plane, I was, you could smoke. They had an ashtray smoking. right next to the, uh, the, the door. It really is uh, something what they don't in, the, in this country about uh, smoking. I mean, there's something about yeah. it though. Back then, the way they used to smoke without the filters and the lighters and the, it just looks cool. I watch that on movies and I'm like, fuck, that's just so cool the way they're the smoking. Cool in, yeah, in movies, right? That the, yeah. the, everybody's smoking. Every, but um, yeah. The, they, the casinos started to fuck with the smokers for a while, but they went right back to oh, leaving yeah, them alone. Oh, yeah, they realized yeah. people were like, fuck oh, this, yeah. I can't smoke, I'm not going to gamble. They're losing uh, revenue, they don't, they're not going to I love flying that. into Atlanta, because I think they still have it, too. They had the smoking room. Or that fucking... Just, oh, the death oh, that chamber. fish tank. The fish fish tank. Chamber. Oh. Tennessee has that. They had to take the ceiling tiles out, because they were just hard up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a cave. But, uh, you'd be in there, and a fucking, just a fucking red redneck. Yellow people in there. Yeah, lady oh, with, with their kid. <laughs> With a fucking <laughs> three-year-old. <laughs> and the kid comes in. <laughs> oh, sit down. Huh. Nothing worse than the casinos. And when you <laughs> sit down and three Asian guys sit next to you. And those motherfuckers will smoke yeah. like non-fucking stuff. Asians love smoking. The perverted, villainous way they hold it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They hit the knee. Hit the knee. Everybody's kid girl looks like Mickey Rooney. <laughs> and fucking 35 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> they do yeah. hold their cigarettes like a fucking yeah. villain. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah, uh, yeah they they hold it between their pinky, just <laughs> like John, yeah. John Travolta and yeah. Are you mad at James Bond? Why are you smoking like that? <laughs> Facing bets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I, was, I was watching a documentary last night also on the, um, the space program, <clears throat> uh, Moon Machines, it was called. And it's oh. all the technology that went behind sending uh, Americans to the moon. And uh, the guys in the control rooms just fucking smoking <laughs> yeah. near machinery that, like, is people's lives. This is people's yeah. lives, and they're just blowing smoke into com- ancient computer equipment. Gummy yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah, gumming up the works. <laughs> they didn't care. 
Yeah, they all get nervous. It's like, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Ah! They all start lighting up cigarettes. Picked the wrong week to give up sniffing glue. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we got to deal with this issue. <laughs> Who's got a cigarette? Yeah. All the fucking movies back in the day used to Matt Dillon. Remember Matt Dillon? He'd have the cigarettes rolled up in his sleeve. What'd you get oh, all, yeah. all sexy all for him? flustered. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, met, oh, I, I love you Matt Dillon. Old, old days. Matt Dillon back in the day with Christy McNichol. <laughs> Remember Christy McNichol? Sure. Yes. In her yeah. dungaree jacket. And they were smoking in the little... They took the canoe out to the little yeah, shack. Yeah, that was... Uh, and they, what little was that darlings. one? Little that darlings. wasn't Little Darlings. Yeah. Was that? Yeah, I, Little Darlings. And then he yeah. fucked her. <laughs> Who got fucked in that? She, Tatum O'Neill lied about this. getting fucked. Right. And Christy McNichol lied about not getting By fucked. By Armin DeSante. No. Yeah. She didn't, yeah, she Did accused him of fuck. Right. Then he got in trouble, but Matt Dillon really stuck it in Christy McNichol. And then he went, he went, what the fuck? Uh, fuck <laughs> this. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> fuck this. And then he left. And then he ditched her? <laughs> yeah, he ditched her. And then he, what, the, what was the lesson? Like, she shouldn't have fucked? And the lesson was, is look, if you're going to decide, if you make the decision to fuck me, just don't, fuck you. You did it. Relax. Yeah, yeah. You, it's over. You fucked me. And no, it was supposed be to be weird. You thought. That uh, Christy McNichol was going to be the one that didn't get fucked, right? But she, yeah, she got fucked. And she, yeah. she, she, uh, she. They both popped it. Well, she popped her cherry, and the other one didn't. Didn't. Yeah, but yeah. you thought she was going to be right. the one. It was a hot she little was movie. Whore. Hot little movie. Tim Allen quoted me on Craig Ferguson's show, Ooh. and then Ferguson acted like he didn't know a fucking idea who I was. Did what? he or not? Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Who's Tim who's, who's Craig him. Ferguson? That. Uh, He's some lying Scottish fucking... guy who's got a talk show. At, like, I'm just oh, pretending like, like I don't know. I'm pretending like I don't know him for you. Oh, thank oh you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> what did he say? He said um, he quoted me. He just goes, "I exaggerate to clarify." The famous Otto and George, and he went, "Okay," and it was like dead silence oh. for a second. Then they went back to his interview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows me. What is Fuck Tim Allen? <laughs> Everybody knows me. What is Tim Allen uh, doing on? I haven't seen him in a long. He's got a new Probably show. Pl oh. Yeah, he's got a sitcom. He does. Yeah. Probably yeah. another Toy Story in the works. You know. Oh, okay. The money. Money that machine that gets from Toy is. Story. That guy's pulling in fucking two hundred G's a year. Easily with be. the Campbell Soup Probably endorsement on top of that. Probably yeah. more than yeah. that, Jim. I don't know, man. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember I, he was when he was first got sober. He, I was doing a bachelor party for the director of Home Improvement in Vegas, and. And Tim was doing uh, Galaxy Quest at the time, and he acted like it was nothing. I'm doing a space movie. Uh, and then uh, he goes, man, I miss bourbon and blow. And I was like, well, then do it then. I go, you know you're going <laughs> to feel like shit. I go, I go, you're making a movie. You're going to look like hell on camera. Um, you know, and, and uh, just finish the movie, you know. And he goes, oh, I'm so glad I'm talking to you, man. It's like, so how you been? What are you doing? I go, I'm doing pips. And, and you're, you're making a fucking $20 million, $50 million movie, and I'm cheering you up? And I was weird. He seemed, like, fragile. Oh, he seemed shit. fragile to me. Did he? Yeah. I like that movie. Yeah. It's a fun movie. It was movie. a decent movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's if you're so into, uh, you know, Star Trek. It was just weird. I felt I like, oh, wow, I'm stronger than you. Damn. Hey, He's a really nice guy. Are you doing another season of the uh, Otto and George show? The Pig Rose? Pig Rose, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never got a call from them. Who does one season? It's like the Louis show. I mean, not to compare, but it's like, give me a chance, you know? Why are they only giving you one season? That's I guess they didn't raise money to do it again. Right. I, I said I'll do one show for one season for free. So then... Um, you know, we, 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 we talked about if there's a budget of any kind, I want 15% of whatever the budget for each show is as the star of the show. I thought that was a fair price. Sure. And they never got back to me. So whatever. Wow. Yeah. How I many did episodes it, did you do? I did a total of 15. Uh, you know, I moved on with my life. On to the next thing. Uh, it would be nice to do another season. You yeah. know? I think it would be a good live show in Vegas. You know, uh -huh. as uh, you know, to bring show. in all the guests in town. We could do it any time of night, you know. It'd be a great show. What the yeah. hell is going on here? Look at Jimmy. There's uh, Jimmy G. What are you, a squirrel? Got, got like, what is that, tuna? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that tuna. whole fucking, st the whole big bunch well, of, of celery. Your body is the temple of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Wow, that's a lot of celery for that little itty bitty hey, thing. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah. Jimmy's fucking, fucking that's Bobby with the my celery. My body is the space monster. <laughs> your body is the temple of the Lord. That's why you the come on it every cut. night. <laughs> be careful with that lid, man. You'll I cut a fucking oh, tendon. Get some tetanus. Yeah.
I fucking got a nasty cut once. Oh, on a oh, tuna yeah. can lid. Oh, that's I, awful. I went to p- push the garbage down because it was kind of yeah. like bunched it's a up dirty, in there. Dirty, jagged gash it makes. There Ugh. was a fucking tuna can lid in there. I pushed down and just felt yeah. like this weird, sharp, searing pain. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, and I opened my hand up and it was just like you said, a vagina. Did you feel on your my heartbeat in the cut? Yes. Was it that deep? It oh, was that's that horrible. Did you see so the white deep stuff? Start singing, yes. The white, white stuff oh, in there. Did you go, oh, like a girl and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Whenever I I would cut myself, I would like put my hand over it yeah. real fast, and then I'd have to look real slow, yeah. like like I'm like I'm looking at what cards I was just dealt. Oh god! I gotta like peel them off real slow and look and go. Eh, that, yeah, that's a fucking. Was that stitches. a trip to the emergency room? Yeah. For sure, right? Yeah. That was stitches. Yeah. Working in sheet metal work, I was in air conditioning and heating, so I was working with a lot of duct work. Oh. And that shit is like working with giant razor blades all day. It is constantly cutting myself, and you couldn't go to the emergency room. Every time you cut yourself, you couldn't. So you just like, you knew you just took duct tape, yeah. and a piece of paper. You'd slap paper over the cut, and then wrap duct tape wow. around it and get back to work. Wow, that's cool. Real job, real men. But you couldn't wear so, like protective gloves because you had a you no. Nah, you know what? It, you, you work with like little drill screws yeah. to hang oh. the duct work up with, so you can't grab them with the gloves on. So you barehanded holding fucking metal. There's another time I had this thing. It's called like a, z- a z- 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 bracket, okay, shaped like a Z. Yeah. And I'm holding the top of it, and I'm trying to drill screw it in, and it caught on the drill oh, and man. spun around on the drill head like a saw blade, and just whack. Wow. Got my hand. You got it all ten terrible. fingers. Uh, you don't miss that at all, eh? Fuck yeah. it. Hey, hey, you yeah, say hey. Say that, sorry. Oh, yeah, fuck. Right. I was rough. in Canada for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. No, yeah, yeah. It's fucking two weeks, not fucking two years, you <laughs> assimilating asshole. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was pandering towards the end. Hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was pandering and groveling. All your jokes, too. Please Andrew. like me. Hey? Was yeah. Terrible. Yeah. I was apologizing for eight years of war and beheadings. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You know, sorry about the school shooting in Connecticut. I'm sorry for throwing your that, quarters though. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just throw them. Yeah, now it's a fucking quarter. <laughs> yeah, now it's a fucking quarter. The uh, bastards. Fuck that. They caught up. We're not, they I used to we went fucking down. throw. You get that? Oh, this change. So light. Canadian change. Yeah, yeah. Fucking toss it. Clink, clink, clink. Yeah, it was, you fucking, keep the dollars in the two dollar coins. Back, the ba- back in the day, the it was horse shit. Yeah, the toonies. When I was a kid, a quarter Canadian quarter was horse shit. Oh, yeah. you couldn't spend it in the states. Yeah, and you didn't even want to keep it. They wanted oh, twenty percent to change fun, my like money to money. Canadian. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Uh, but uh, if I if I gave him five hundred, it would be free. But I only had a, a hundred dollar bill in American, and I had my debit card. So I said, "Fuck that! Just give me my money back." Holy shit! They were going to give me eighty dollars back in can, in Canadian. What kind of rip off is that? It's an airport rip off. I guess so. Yeah, uh, I tell you, they get you all. They get you coming bag. and going. Yeah, <laughs> right, regular Joe. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, regular Joe. <laughs> no lemon in it, uh, Jim. Oh, Lemon's I know, lemon good. with mayo would be terrible. Some olives. Th- there's no. It might but you didn't get congeal. the white meat. You no. got the the fucking the 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 project tuna. Well, that's what Sal <laughs> got me. Why would you didn't get, get white? Oh there's God, white albacore yeah. yes, tuna. It's just it's white. Right, that's well, the pink tuna. Three slices of Wonder Bread and a donut right. after that. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. He, got, he got chunk light. Solid white. Yeah, solid albacore. white. You ever heard of water? Right, next time, this is yeah. fine. It's still better than eating fucking pizza. Yeah, yeah. that's well. actually the fucking asshole of the tuna. That's where Poor that meat comes from. Little pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you're eating healthy. I like seeing yeah. that. You're gonna put some celery in it now? No. Ooh, no. Yeah. What? He's gonna, he's gonna use it as bread. So- Celery is the bread. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Oh, yeah. that's good. You're going to do the show. I don't want to distract. Aww, good boy, Jimmy. Look at the, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking well, Bugs Bunny sound effects. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, isn't that? <laughs> it's Bugs Bunny sound effects. That's you're, pretty good. So what is that? That lasts you what? Till the whole day? Fucking, when do you eat? I mean, it looks like you should be in a yeah. terrarium. <laughs> One of the funniest broadcasts you guys have done lately was after that Joe Piscopo special aired. Oh, I was I was cracking because I watched that too. I, I it took me ten minutes to realize it was Piscopo. I it was just some was... guy talking. I thought yeah. it was a telethon. I was horrified. He was just talking. You know, yeah, about yeah. bullshit. It was yeah. shockingly you couldn't turn the channel. No, yeah. I was, was on. I was watching it in a hotel room. I was on some sh- fucking shit gig somewhere about to commit suicide. It looked <laughs> like somebody doing a sketch of a bad yes! Vegas comic lounge guy. You know, I, I didn't know he was serious. Like that was his he act. Was serious. He wanted to show that he like played yeah. all these instruments, and then his banter between the songs. It yeah, was, I was stunned. I couldn't tune away. The schmaltz level of that was unbelievable. Oh, it was terrible. off the charts. Like it was that, off the charts, yeah. He could have gotten away with that at, like, one of the old Vegas 
places off the strip back yeah, in he, like, the 60s. Yeah, he's of another time. He really I is. I'd go see that now, though. If that was in Vegas... I would go off the strip oh, yeah. to see no. that. If we Why? were in Vegas, I'd be like, dude, let's go see Piscopo. Fun for five minutes, nah. and then you got to sit there going, what the fuck are we doing? I, I could watch be, it to I the end. I couldn't, money. Stop. He, I couldn't take my eyes off. He plays off. every fucking instrument mediocre. Mediocre. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. all right at playing a bunch of things, but That's, it's pretty talented. nothing special. And then when he had those little saxophone battle with the guy that could Ooh. play the sax, yeah. it's like, why would you want to do that? Yeah. You're showing how bad you are. It's not even close. Yeah, you know, when he played, it was like, oh, he's good, he's good. And then the other guy played like, oh, he's not that Joe Piscopo did a lot of these, but you like uh, the n- one note that went a long time as the other guy's going, but it runs up and down the fucking thing. Yeah, but I like when they told the audience, hey, you guys don't mind if I do this, right? It's Jersey. I wouldn't do this anywhere else. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. It only Poor aired Joe. one time because I hit that was like, my guy to see when it was going <laughs> to yeah, play again because yeah. I missed the opening Never. of it. It yeah. said, you got to be kidding me. Who, I've never seen him play a special once and never again. What the fuck? <laughs> Only that, that one. <laughs> yeah. Only that one. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it, was, it was fucking, it was unbelievable. And then he was great it. when he came on here. We were talking about, uh, oh, the old days. And Was uh, he on, like, right after that, yes. on the heels of that? Yeah, yeah. Right after a bunch of people tweeted him about what we were saying and this. And yeah, because I was curious how you were going to handle that. Did, he did, just understood. It, he came did. on. He was like, eh, what are you going to do? Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did take anything personal he no, just got no, it he no, was like fine it's cool guys thanks for we talking, talking about, about me. you know yeah. what he's a nice enough guy he's very charitable and yeah. shit yeah. you know I heard he's that. always doing charity st- stuff his personal life is a fucking disaster yes and his professional Banging life everything. apparently is yeah he's just always trying to fucking you can't get married yeah and then try to bang younger broads yeah stop it is he just still fucking, like like big like pumped up guy? Well, I I Not think the much. years no. of you know taking no, away some was. muscle mass. Yeah, I watched that movie he was in after the interview you guys did with him. What's oh, it called? really? That um, new one that he made? No, the one the back in the one? day. The one, yeah, the zombie. What was that? Oh, with Treat Williams. I forget the name of that. Oh, he was shit. jacked in that movie, and he had that. He had that fight when that the 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 designer leather jackets were in with the oh, yeah. the V cut with yeah, the yeah. flappy <laughs> wings on it and the <laughs> shoulder pads. Flappy wings. Oh, okay. oh. the Miami Vice type of. Yeah. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Overly, yeah, he, dead heat. Overly, dead heat. Dead dead shredded. Okay. Thank you, Jeff himself. I remember that being really violent, but like dumb. It's yeah. the worst fucking movie. It's really bad, <laughs> on right? The planet. Yeah, it's <clears throat> terrible. But it was uh, <clears throat> after hearing the interview and then watching it, it was actually kind of entertaining. Kind of entertaining too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it's yeah. just psychologically when you know. something. Something's going to be shit. It's like, I can watch this. I think he yeah. was juicing back then. He, There's no he way anyone gets that fucking big like that. Mm. I know Jeff Norris used to do roids because he would, he had a, his temper was off the chart. Yes. He would get really mad at fucking nothing. Fucking Norris almost destroyed my fucking career. He with did? uh Yeah. He was demonstrating a chokehold on me. Oh, God. So I took the guy and I came up behind him and I went like this. I'm like, <laughs> and, and for like two weeks, my voice box hurt. Oh, Jesus. I was like, fucking That's Jeff. my bread and butter. Nothing <laughs> doing. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Didn't understand man. his own strength. He's that guy that fucking, you know, yes, George. Yeah, little, oh, <laughs> dead bunny rabbit in his Yeah. Skin. He fucking choked me. Oh, man. God damn. Guy's a fucking animal. <laughs> fucking animal. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was, I was bringing up earlier uh, uh, the cigarette thing about that show I was watching, Moon Machines. And it was it was so depressing to watch because you're watching these guys and they had clips of them now talking yeah. about back then and then they had clips of them back then in the you know the engineering departments and the fucking launch control and mm. and and the problems that they had with the Apollo missions and how they solved the problems yeah. and and it put a man on a fucking moon and then had the rover and did that like all that shit and you're looking going these are just like smart fucking innovative guys that just aren't there anymore. This country fucking stinks compared to what it was as far as the it's space just, program goes. Those guys oh, are in God, other, yeah. those fucking guys are in Apple now and computing. But no, that's even different. That's fucking different. It's so, it's they're American heroes. Yeah, they, no, they must you, get free dinner sometime. I would I yeah. would hope so. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, the, we have those the guys. But they just revolution is a lot different. It's a lot more worldwide, Bobby. Then fucking the Apollo program was American. They weren't sending the shit out to fucking China to, well, to wasn't make there a it. Race in. with Russia too to yeah, get yeah, to the moon yep, at yeah. that time. Yeah. Ah, at the end of this, the con. <laughs> yeah, you got to We right here. well, there it is. There you go. <laughs> we well yeah. go to the moon <laughs> and shit. do those other things. Nice whatever skull. those were. <laughs> nice skull he had. They demolished. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> skulls on them. <laughs> the Kennedy right. skull. They demolished. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. Fucking <laughs> Kennedy skulls. Oh yeah, boy, yeah. Do they love taking pot shots at those Kennedy I know. skulls. Put a pellet in the skull and stop talking. <laughs> Didn't they just announce that uh, well, Robert Kennedy thought there was a third, there was more than one shooter? Yeah, Robert Kennedy's yeah, yeah. son, which is JFK's yeah, nephew. He said, yeah, oh, he said yeah. that Robert, actually, his brother oh, oh, sure. it was actually mess. said it was, there was, there was no, he, in, in the press said, you know. Really? It he wasn't, thought, but uh, yeah, well, behind closed then, door. Yeah. Thane he, Caesar was a last minute replacement security guard that they said shot Robert Kennedy mm. uh, behind the ear. And he turned and grabbed, he went to grab Thane Caesar and he collapsed with his uh, clip on bow tie in his hands. So, oh, um, Jesus. like, um, Sirhan Sirhan is here and Robert Kennedy's here. So, if, if, and, and, um, Sirhan is firing at, at, at me. Why would I turn around and grab the guy behind me? Maybe you're trying to get away. And Maybe. Just... But then also, um, uh, Rosie Greer threw fucking Sirhan over a table. It's, Rosie and, and, Greer? And, and Rosie Greer was right there. Get the fuck out of here. I never knew that. Yeah. If you see him making his speech right before he goes, uh, let's win here, on to whatever, uh, Rosie Greer is right over here. What, his did, back, the, what did the white shoulder. guy head do? <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> yeah, the Ray Milan Ray Milan Ray Milan head did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they shooting at us. Put the top up. Um, yeah, and they said that, but they said that he might have been under mind control, and they did yeah. a study on he mind was a control. Candidate. Where they, yeah, they they actually mind did a stu- control. He was. They got a bunch of people, and they whittled it down to like four people, and then they put them all in this fucking tub of ice water, and they hypnotized just everybody, but they, nobody could take it except this one motherfucker. Really, and he just sat in it for two he, minutes till his core. He, he was going to die, and they, they said, "Okay, get out." Jeez. And he didn't feel a thing. Didn't shiver. Didn't shake. Sirhan. And no, this oh. new, they just did it uh, like this year. They did this on Jimmy's National Geographic. Jimmy's oh. not buying it. I, I know. And He's then they just... said to him, "Okay, now you didn't. You're not in it. It's over. Thank you for doing it." He put him under the hip- uh, hypnosis again and said, "You're going to go outside, and when you hear this word, this guy shakes your hand and snaps your hand. You're going to go to this car, grab the gun, and when this guy comes out with a briefcase, you shoot him." And he goes outside. He's normal. The guy comes up, shakes. His his hand, thank you, snaps it, walks over to the car, grabs the gun, stands there with the gun, and the guy walks out and he goes, boom, boom, puts two in him. The woods it's are off, lovely, it's dark off. and deep, but I have promises to keep. <laughs> Myers to go before I sleep. Remember, Yorieva, Myers to go before I sleep. Myers to go before <laughs> I from? sleep. Telephone. Oh, it was that old fucking, that guy from fucking uh, Halloween was in it. Oh, okay. That little bald-headed guy. Yeah, yeah. Donald Pleasance. <laughs> Donald Pleasance was in that. And, oh. uh, and Charles Bronson. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, they, they, How do you like your then they snapped this guy out of it. <laughs> they snapped the guy out of it. He didn't even fucking know. He was just like, uh, he, and they told him what he did, and he almost like started crying. Like, I can't believe yeah, I they, have that in me. Sirhan never admitted that he wasn't there and shot somebody, but there was some psychiatrist oh. hypnotized him when he was in jail, and he said he couldn't believe how easily he was hypnotized. Like, like if, you, if you're oh. hypnotized like over a long period of time, frequently, you could just go under like that. Sirhan yeah. Sirhan is up. I also read, I think Robert Ressler or somebody interviewed him, and they said he's one of these asses Ooh. who refers Anthony? to himself in the third person. Uh, really? Well, Sirhan Sirhan thinks that the, he's I just one of their these songs. Oh, reflex. Yeah, like the Long Island Railroad shooter. <laughs> Durant, Durant. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Colin Ferguson. Yeah, he kept saying that shit, too. Oh, yeah. And at the time, when you were at the time. So tell me, tell me uh, what you saw when you were yeah. on the train. Well, I saw you, yeah, you point shot a gun me. at me yeah. and shoot me. Yeah. You shot me. Oh, no further questions, Your Honor. Yeah. It was not I, a good attorney. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining no. as fuck to watch. <laughs> yeah. That was a fucking lunatic. Fucking mad man. Oh, someone should have been on that train and just shoot him. Oh, he, yeah, really? Shoot him. Awful person. Instead of fucking Angry. Carolyn McCarthy uh, uh, taking everyone's guns away. Maybe Where's someone had a gun on the train beside him. How come that's never happened though? There's, I, 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 how come because there's not never... a lot of people have guns. Yeah, but there are. There's a ton of people in America that have walk around with guns. No, yeah. because it's illegal to carry a gun unless you have so many permits and right. it's so hard to get that no one's the odds that people have in it. Texas. No, and it's, it doesn't happen a lot in Texas. Uh, it te- doesn't. Yeah, okay, but how come you've never heard of a guy like doing some fucking Clint Eastwood you ha- shit? You have. Where? I've never heard of one. It happens all the time in Where Texas. A guy pulls out a fucking gun and takes somebody out yeah. and, and saves the day. Yes. Where? I've never heard of it. You know why you never hear it. about it? Because on the it. news it says a man with a gun. Stop was... yelling at me. You're making me ah, want to eat. A man with a gun. <laughs> it's, exactly. here's how the news it's almost as if you were talking softly to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 we got it. No matter what. Here's what 
what the news always says. A man with a gun uh, was shot by a, a man with a legal handgun, um, and that's the story. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, they're not going to say a man with a gun stopped a man from shooting 20 people. Yeah. You know why? Because he didn't shoot 20 people. Okay. It's, the, the reasons there aren't a mass murder is because the guy killed the guy that had the gun. That it's happened. I've never heard of it. How do you know the guy? I'm not have saying gone it's into that, a mall. I never heard of a guy, a guy taking out an assailant, like a, a regular citizen with a gun, right. about, shooting something. I mean, how about I got this. Yeah. Go, uh, online, go to um, Armed Citizen. It's mm -hmm. an NRA publication. Mm -hmm. American Rifleman has Armed Citizen. Every month, I read through these, and it's a whole fucking page of just armed citizens uh, defending themselves or other people and thwarting um, what would surely be uh, um, crime. Yes. The problem with a gun, to me, in the house is that it's uh, night, most of the time it's either used in a suicide, killing your spouse, or <laughs> misfiring and some five-year-old kid blows his friend's head off by picking it up in, in There a are grave rock. problems with irresponsibility in guns. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the odds of you defending yourself from an intruder... Um, but, but it's there. It's like yeah. I, I own guns because I like the um, security that sure. I feel when I, I know I'm armed. I know I'm at least going to be on even footing you can handle with any anyone situation. that yeah. comes. If all of a sudden I'm sitting on my couch watching TV yeah. and the door gets kicked open, and it sounds paranoid, but go online. There's plenty of instances of it happening. Yeah. Oh, Will yeah. it happen? Big Probably time. not. Yeah. The odds that it's going to happen, it's minuscule. But it does fucking happen. Yeah. And if that door ever gets kicked open and you're just standing there... Everyone in that situation is going to think, I wish I had a gun, when they sure. see people come in with a gun Anthony, and, ravaging and, their family. And, and any given moment when you're home just relaxing, is there always a gun like within like, like reaching distance? I usually always have one on me, on, on my hip. hip. Wow. I, I yeah. always have a holstered gun on me. And if I don't, um, and I'm alone, only when I'm alone in the house, yeah. I'll keep it on the table next to me wow. uh, on the couch yeah, while already, watching TV. He always has a bullet on inside table. his cheek when he watches yeah, TV, exactly. too. Just I just spit it out. You, do you, when, like, I love you a few to, shots at the TV like Elvis. <laughs> do you have, like, if you go to check the mail, do you have a pistol on you like fucking Henry Hill? It's or on me. Yeah, you, it's ever, on me. It I is? just well, wow. I go out to in my yard to get some firewood. Is it hard for you to get a carry permit? In New York State, it's it's... It's hard to get a carry permit. Yeah. It, you, there are so many different levels. You could get a target permit, right. which allows you to own a gun, to a pistol, to own a pistol, keep it in your house, yeah. and go to and from a shooting range Do you only. have to call the police uh, and say, I'm leaving my house to go to the gun range? No, and no, have, no. no you in just, Canada, you have to call and say, what, what you carry, what's in the trunk? Amazing. And then, and then they'll go, well, go right to the range and don't make any stops to go right home. Amazing. Yeah. No, you, you're allowed to go to and from the range in New York State. Oh. Uh, but they have these little loopholes that I'm sure they're going to close up yeah. where there are 24-hour ranges that oh. are available for a paid member. Yeah. So you get a membership. You get the membership card. You carry the gun with you all the time. And then if a cop ever asks, where are you going? What do you have? You go, I'm going to the range. Oh, I see. That's a range. loophole, right? So you always have it with you. Um, then there's a business permit, oh. which allows you to carry the gun with you all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, and in order to get that, you have to have uh, proof that you carry large sums of money yeah. with you. You're making deposits in cash. Or... What if my, my mind is such a, a joke machine hmm. that I'm always carrying this wealth of jokes with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me know when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking happened already. Oh, fuck shit. shut up, <laughs> angry chip. Then there's Kill. Manhattan and, and yeah. the five boroughs, New yeah. York City. You, it's nearly impossible to get a permit for New York City. So if you live on Long Island and yeah. you want to take your pistol upstate, let's say, you got to take your pistol before you hit the New York City limit. Yeah. Put it in your trunk in a locked box separate from the ammunition. Oh, I see. And not stop in the city and drive right through, and then you can take it out. So that if something happens in the city and your car gets stolen, mm -hmm. the gun's not on you. Yeah. It's now in the car. Now he's got a gun and your car. Yeah. So it makes complete sense, these fucking idiots. It doesn't make sense, yeah. though. What are you Thank saying? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, to get the permit in New York City, it cost me about $5,000 in legal fees. Oh, okay. I had to give all kinds of information that, in order to exercise any other right, you would never have to give that kind of information. Yeah, yeah. All kinds of personal. What state do you think is the laxest with guns? Arizona, Texas, Alaska, Arizona, Alaska. Uh, yeah, Alaska is pretty good. Alaska, yeah. Um, there are plenty of states that are pretty lax as far as it goes. Um, yeah. I have a, a non-resident Pennsylvania. 
uh, pistol license because you're able to get one, oh, okay. and, and it's good in a few other states also. Uh, as a gun owner, you find out you, what states you can get pistol licenses in if you don't live there that are also good in other states. Now, when you go to the pistol ranges, are you just shooting a paper, or can you get that spinning you get lady with the bag of groceries from a Dirty <laughs> Harry movie? I like that. Oh, you shot a good guy. You, you get to do that. Uh, there there are certain team. ranges. There's uh, there's <laughs> Most of them are just paper targets or yeah. uh, bowling pins out That's in cool. Calverton or something. But uh, there's a range in um where the fuck is it hicksville somewhere i go yeah uh and it's a video range oh it's a giant like movie theater screen and you stand back at various uh distances and you shoot at videos that are playing on there of like they have a lot of arab ones they do <laughs> yeah oh, man. and it's all done with live ammunition you're shooting into the screen the screen is actually expensive well they don't replace it every time it, there's yeah two price shattering glass everywhere right the whole fucking <laughs> town has got glass it's on a, it it's a good no. take us out pig boy no <laughs> oh. it's two two giant rolls of paper oh uh yeah. That cover the screen. One's vertical, one's horizontal. Okay. And when you shoot, it makes a hole in these two sheets of paper. Right. A light from behind comes through, and a sensor picks up where that light came through based on the computers and the screen and oh, what's so you... on it. They know exactly where you hit. Oh, that's So cool. then, in order to cover up the holes, all they got to do is move both of the rolls a little bit to okay. misalign the... The so you get an made. actual score and how you did and yeah. shit. That's and then cool. they have these uh, scenarios where it looks like you're walking through a, a backyard and there's like good people and bad people. So yeah. you've got to make sure you don't Those, shoot the good guys. Did you actual see, combat. Did yeah. you see Zero Dark Thirty? Yes, I did. Did, yeah. did you get a hard on with at the oh, end? Oh, at the end when they're fucking going through that house with the night vision and the lasers great. and just oh. triple <laughs> triple tapping those Tri fucking... Oh, the, I, when he triple t he hit the guy and then the white... And then he... Oh, you her back, of and then Osama? triple yeah. tapped yeah. him again. Triple taps the chick, and then he <laughs> goes in front of the kids wow. and yes. goes, "Okay, guys, get out of here." Yeah, yeah. Without a fucking emotional connection to any of it. I liked when uh, the guy finally does. Be. He gets Bin Laden, and uh, his <laughs> buddy turns to him, and the guys just kind of stand there. He goes, "Do you realize what you just did?" <laughs> it's wow, because did you didn't even did it sink in what you just fucking Wallet. Wallet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they never. <laughs> they never showed the guy to kill them, right? He's just a, some yeah, unknown it's soldier. Yeah, kind of random. You they know, didn't even tell of... Obama when the uh, <clears throat> the seal. I read the book by the seal, and he said when they met the president, of course he asked, and they're like, "We all did it." Oh, and they all yeah. they all signed like a flag that they gave to him, and one of the seals is like, "I signed. I didn't sign my real name." Oh. They don't even sign their real name on the phone. That's a great oh, wow. book, by the way. He, he referred it to yeah, me. Yeah, No Ordinary Day. Why didn't they sign their own name? Because it's like high, secret. high security. They're targets for assassination, and so are their family. Oh, sure yeah, they, they, they oh, killed man. Bin Laden. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Muslim extremists would want to uh, God, get revenge for the good. Sheikh. That was a good day. Yeah. They're talking about the uh, pictures like it's never no, it's not, it's no, day. it's no easy day. I want to see oh, him. Yeah. It's yeah. no easy day. That's what it's called. The it's annoying to me that they won't show those pictures. You'd think, though, that yeah. they'd somehow fucking get out. Every picture gets out eventually. Yeah, everybody wanted though. to see that just to feel better, cheer up for me. Yeah, the fuck you know? that yeah. they didn't show us that really Well, you know, you me. can't upset Muslims. I remember yeah, they, showed, uh, they showed it. They showed it every day. You see us jumping out of the fucking building. We watched, watched, we watched, watched they strung up American soldiers on a what? bridge. We you show, show, us, see that cut, you show the fucking us getting our throats cut yeah. over there. Yeah, you show it on a windy day, people's hats blowing around. Right. That tragedy. <laughs> they showed Saddam's kids with their faces blown off. And him yeah, yeah. Day yeah. And cool. They showed Saddam. The video got out of him actually getting, getting hung. hung. They, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was some sick shit. He's just like, ah, well, wow. so here's how it ends. Nice right. savage Thud. death. Yeah, wow. getting oh, hung is man. just sucks. And his being hung is great, but. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was some fucking weird time. Yeah. Like, like you remembered him being with the rifle was it the and trap shooting door on the, thing. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, they put the fucking thing around his neck and just dropped him, and that was it. He, they asked him if he had any words to say. He was just kind of mumbling, right? Didn't he just kind of... Uh, blah, yeah, this blah, is it. Boom! boom. This is it. He probably couldn't up. believe it was happening. Yeah, like, what? I'm yeah. fucking... I was just <laughs> king shit over here. What happened? <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was a big man on campus. I had a <laughs> golden toilet. <laughs> <An> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that movie was... I fucking love... And, and in the theater... Um, you gotta see. It. I was, I was like, yes, when they shot, I was the only one. Yeah, like yeah. excited that yeah. they fucking killed them. I saw it in uh, the theater the too, but like I was him? alone in the theater. The, it was fucked up. I was they, alone they too. Saw him in weird clips. Well, was, I, I was alone, him. just me. But there was a bunch of people. You mean you were the only? No, one? no, I was the only one in the theater. Oh, that's yeah. great. It was, it's the only place I go to now. They got like uh, these hmm. fucking comfy chairs. What's and, it called? And there's a button. There's a button available that if I hit it. The fucking movie stops, get out of here. and I could go to the bathroom. I could get a drink. 
I could come back to the theater, Where sit down, and watch Long Zero Island? Dark Thirty. Yeah, it's on Long Island. Wow. It's your house. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's your rich boy house. <laughs> oh, oh. It's impossible. That movie's in the theaters. I oh. just I just want to take it away from you one more time. <laughs> no. And then have it given. No. I want to give it back right to you. No. I just want you to feel it one more time. Do you know last night I was going down to the basement, of course, to get a drink. And uh, I open up the. I just turned on the light and opened the theater door just to look in. Oh, nice. God bless I you. went, yeah, it's still there. That's great. Click. Shut the lights. So, I, you know, I fucking ate half a oatmeal cookie off a floor under a locker in school because I was hungry. <laughs> Come on. Cut yeah. me some slack. I'm kidding. You deserve everything you get. No, I don't. Seriously, AIDS. <laughs> lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> ah, asshole. Uh, uh, let's, let's take a, a break. So we don't get too backed up. Can I plug these? Please do, Bobby Kelly. It's I'm gonna this month. I'm all over fucking New York. To, uh, th this weekend, January 18th and 19th, Comedy Works Albany. Are you staying in the hotel? Mm -hmm. No, not that one. I'm making put me the other way. Because well, I went so in there. Horrible. Th I don't stay in a hotel where there's a folding table in my room. Yeah. What? The he, I, the the, the, the where the gig is is just a shit good. hotel. But the one across yeah. the street is nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I got to thank you. I got to double yeah. check that. Hey, yeah. answer uh, Addison. And is it's, it reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> Com Comedy Works this week. Get off me, fucking Edgar. Uh, Comedy Works Albany this weekend. Next weekend, 24th to the 26th, Side Splitters, Tampa. And then January 31st to Feb 2nd, I'm at Gotham Comedy Club in ah. NY, motherfucking C. Yeah. Go to robertkellylive.com. Very have one, respectable bookings. I have yes. one plug. The 25th and 26th, I will be in, uh, this month, I'll be in uh, San Diego. The All American Comedy Company, I think it's called, or Comedy Club. I've never been there. Oh, so love San Diego. Diego. Friday and Saturday only. Bunch of sailors. You're gonna you go, to, you go right show. over to Mexico, right there. Should I do my plugs? Do that. I might do something. I won't be January, so January 19th. Come Seattle and Georgia. Jester's Comedy Club. Jester's Comedy Club in Chester, New York. Jester's Comedy Club. Jester and Chester. Say that again. Jester's Comedy Club, New York. dot com. November 24th, Nobuco in Tom's River. January 26th, Novitas, Metuchen. It's all on my website. What's the website? What's website? Ottoandgeorge.com. Ottoandgeorge.com. Or, or you, can see, you can see my dates, jimnorton.com. Oh. And if you, want, if you want to see what 19, uh, 1997 looks like for websites, <laughs> go to fucking jimnorton.com. Not happy with your webpage still, huh? Piece of shit. You know, if, you have, if you have an iPhone, you get my goddamn award winning, which my sure. award just came in. Award winning? I won an award for my app Absolutely. last year. It's a, and it's a real award. Please remind me when we come back, I want to talk hmm. about uh, your watch. Oh. That you finally got that you've been crowing about this crowing. iPhone uh, <laughs> fucking watch thingy. Right. I want to hear about it. Not sure. yet. Okay. We'll be right back. And after. don't forget to check yes. out my website. It's a fucking doozy. <laughs> <laughs> check out that Jesus. fucking hunk of one. shit. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. On Sirius XM. Sirius XM. The Opie and Anthony Show. Those Travis. We're back. Yep. Yes, we're back. Uh, I didn't forget, Bobby. Uh, Bobby Kelly's here, of course. The lovely. I gotta leave it for a little while. George. Why? Yeah. I got a oh, contract to come into my apartment to fix my steers. What? I'm hmm. putting I'm putting a window seat over my fucking spiral staircase down to the basement. A window seat over the spiral yeah, staircase? Yeah, just to add a little more square footage to my apartment and then make an office space upstairs. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're, so you're, what are you doing? Is you're eliminating the spiral staircase? No, no, I'm just going over it. Like halfway over it. Like so when you go down the stairs, when your you head doesn't hit. pop up behind a couch like like a spy? Yeah, it's kind of. Is that what you're gonna? <laughs> a little bit, because you know, you know my apartment. Yes, I do. <laughs> when you walk to the window, you can't go direct. You can't go directly to the window. You have to kind of slide over and then lean into, you know, to pick wow. the window up. Yeah, just this is the way they did the spiral staircase. I'm gonna cover half of it, so you can walk straight up to the window, and then I'm a little up the half where you come up. <laughs> no, <laughs> it would hurt. Why don't you just get a ladder? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like spiral. Okay. <laughs> I love spiral staircases. Yeah. I love them in houses. I fucking love it. But it just takes up a lot of square footage to put that. And especially, yeah, I, you know, a I, have a, in your floor. I have a New York City apartment. So it's, you know, it's a small old yeah, joint. But small downstairs is, you've never been to my place, right? No. Well. <laughs> I don't go to anyone's house here. No. I, I don't, I've never been to Jimmy's. I've You've never, never been, been to, invited. I know. That's true, too. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> I've never been to Opie's. 
I've never been to Young Sam's. I've never been to Erox. Yeah. Wow, I've never been to anybody's fucking house. I've been to Opie's, Otto's, and Bobby's. Oh, I've never been to Sam's. Jimmy's, never Opie's, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Come to my house. You've been invited. I've been, You've been to my house. I've been to your house quite a few times. Yeah. Lovely house. Oh, thank you. Love it. Uh, that, maybe that's why. I, I just don't like leaving. I'm fucking agoraphobic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting my shit fixed today, so it's good. And I think it will add more money to my apartment. Oh, well. Resale. Sweat equity. Rest Do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, now, about this fucking watch thing. You've been, you, were, you were talking about this uh, last time. You didn't have it. Oh. But you're saying, dude, there's this wristwatch <laughs> thing. It's got a Bluetooth to your iPhone. You leave the iPhone in your backpack, in your pocket. Boom. Yeah. But you're doing everything on the watch that you would do on your iPhone without needing the phone. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Now, then you told me. Don't get this. <laughs> Listen, I haven't. What the fuck? It it's called. It's called I'm Watch. Okay, oh. I'm Watch. It's an Italian-based company, and it's one of the first uh, phone watches, like an iPhone type of watch that uh -huh. goes to your Android phone or your iPhone Ooh. through Bluetooth, and it has, it, you know, basically. Bluetooth. It needed the money. <laughs> 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 and you can, you know, it looks like a little mini I, I, iPhone screen. And uh -huh. you, it has Twitter on it. You can get apps for it. It has Facebook, Instagram. Uh, news and you can answer the phone. It has your music on it, but it kind of goes through there. Everything your phone can do, but uglier, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, smaller and more inconvenient. Yeah. It's, it's actually handed. It's actually cool. The the, the actual music uh, player on it is cool for the gym or walking around because, especially in New York, because everybody's getting their shit stolen. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, if you have it out, uh, you got to hold on to it. You got to hold on to it. Yeah. They're fucking just stealing iPhones. Do you and, get a, a little? Galaxies. Do you put two hands, a little tighter grip on the phone yeah. when when certain people walk by you? Yeah. <laughs> do you do that? I do I, it all the time. I'm like, up. Oh. It's like when it used to be you snap down your door locks. Yeah. But th this day and age, when you walk in with your phone, yep. you kind of turn a little one side. You hold. Yep. Yep. I have, uh, yeah, I do that. Uh, even on the subway, subway I profile, platform. I profile. Drop it in the I toilet. I know stealing all these fucking phones. I, I, look like, I look like the guy going to steal your phone and push you into the f front of the train because That's I'm true. looking for that guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm looking around the whole time. So now everybody looks creepy looking around the platform for yeah. the creepy guy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this is, I, it's cool, but I haven't figured so out the is, phone what, part of it. Okay. Oh, boy. There's a couple things. I'm, I haven't fully uh, tested it, test drove it yet. Uh huh. But, the phone part of it hasn't worked flawlessly yet. It's a little staticky, and I think uh, it's do, because of the Bluetooth. Are you talking about like Dick Tracy? What the you, fuck? You, you, it has oh, a speakerphone. <laughs> it has a spe <laughs> <laughs> There's a speakerphone right here, and then it oh. has um, a microphone over here. But you can plug headphones That's into it. That's a microphone. See the headphone? Mm. You yeah. Can, <laughs> microphone. <laughs> you can plug headphones into it, so you can talk on the phone from your... And then you got wires going from your wrist to your ears. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're walking. I got you. Well, it's from your wrist to your fucking your ears, from your, to your pocket. Same shit. Does it show up when people are calling you? Yeah. Yeah, it does. If if yeah, see. Hmm. Why do you still have a phone then? I'm calling you. you well, know, that's just right a there, mere, That's a oh. mere look, slave look, look. unit to the Let's phone. Let's hear your answer. Oh. It, oh. All right, I'll answer. So it. you need the phone. It's a conduit. Yeah, that's connected to his phone. Go ahead. Hey, Jim. Yeah, what's up? Hello. What's happening? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm right outside the uh, window. Yeah, I can see you. Can you hear me? Yeah, the quality. Of what? Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, it's a little. A little. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is shit. Hang, hang on, go ahead. What'd you say? Michael Douglas got better reception on the beach in Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> Those yeah. phones are actually yeah, the best phone. brick. Those yeah. are the best yeah. cell phones of all. You know? Really? They are. Yeah, because beat someone with a hunk of shit. It's not. Uh, all shit. right, that's the guy that owns it. Well, here's the yeah. thing. I, I, there's an update on it. I read yesterday that I haven't updated that. What, what, what fixed is that? A lot they take of the, the cotton out of the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> but here, they sent this to me for nothing oh, to yeah. review it, uh, and so well, it's not. The price. Oh. It, it might be. It might be a. Uh, it might be. Uh, I don't know. I got to get inside with them and make yeah. sure. Yeah, because I'm going to fucking review it, but uh, I, I don't know if the, the fact that it's made I, in Italy makes me worry. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. What is it's that gotta about? go to the Asians for small gadgetry. Ooh. Italians aren't known for fucking technology. No, not, not Shotguns yeah, and no sports cars <laughs> yeah. and macaroni. Yeah, they're known for fucking <laughs> yeah. risotto and yeah. fucking yeah. fucking American chicks when they go over there. Yeah. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, I, I like. I mean, as far as a watch goes, it's pretty badass that you can. This well, is where this is where it's going. By the way, yeah, this yeah, there, Apple's yeah. gonna have one of these. Apple's getting fucking uh, getting run over by Samsung. By the way, yeah, it is. It really is. They just canceled half of the orders of uh, screens yeah. for the iPhone from China. And you know, you know what and phones are getting why? stolen, stolen the most? Just not no demand. Oh. Galaxy, Galaxy, galaxies are getting stolen. That's when you know. When even the fucking crooks don't want to steal your fucking yeah, phone. Yeah, I think I think Apple's down hmm. to four fourteen percent market share, and they were at twenty two percent. Yeah, uh, in two thousand eleven, they are they're going to probably take a huge shit today. I, I'll <laughs> tell you I, that fucking stupid design. I mean, you, you, you hold mean? a Galaxy two, and it's light and. Big how do you and call, nice. How do you call the iPhone a, a, a stupid design? Because it, they you did the same that. exact it's, thing, except a little longer. Fuck you! I want a. It's I a wanted, cutting edge design. Oh fuck! And they were really the first ones to get it right. Absolutely. So you got to give them credit as far as that goes. Absolutely. I'm an but, Apple guy all the way, but you should have. You should have. They need to set the curve again. They already did it. Now somebody finally caught up to them, and their phone don't doesn't suck. Mm. The Galaxy Two doesn't suck. The Note doesn't suck. Everything up and until then suck. Now right. it actually works just as good as the iPhone, but it's actually lighter, better, it's a bigger screen. Now they have to do something else. A lot of Apple people who would never have changed uh, a few years ago are starting to go for Galaxy. Yeah. I, the Galaxy Note is fucking are you, huge. Are you thinking about it? I, I, are you thinking look, about the I'm, Galaxy? I'm sick. I, I, I've had this for two years, this stupid design. I, I know you. it's a little longer now, but go fuck yourself. Yeah. I don't my your it's it's designed so your thumb fuck you, That's English like man. That's the one-handed design, so you could fucking... I actually am coming up with a new phone. Oh, Jimmy. What's it called? What's it the Glonker up? Chuck. The Glonker Chuck? What, what does that mean? And, uh, Nothing. what... The, <laughs> it, has, it has that. It has that feeling of the click, like the storm used to. Oh, did you hate that? I, I, it made me hate BlackBerry and mm. want them to go out of business and want their <laughs> fucking employees to all uh, lose their homes. Good job, because <laughs> I think that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, and they deserve <laughs> it. I, I love the fact that they're going out of business. When they tried to do that it was tactile asshole. touch Assholes. screen, it was a tactile touch screen oh. where they figured people still appreciated the the feeling of a button being pushed. Oh, is that so right? they had a touch screen, yet it went like tick, tick. Oh. Tick, tick, a little like feel to it, oh, like a texture on the screen. Get the fuck out of here and give me glass. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> really, the reminder of the past. Terrible, yeah. right? What the fuck? Oh, do you need? what the fudge? I need that hmm. for? Um. Oh, hey, look at that. Are you interested in going back to F6 to shoot again? Let's make a date. F6. That's the place with the movie screen. I guess uh, someone's listening to the program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, by the way. Yes, let's shoot. Let's shoot things. Do you want me to get you? Want to see if I can get you a watch and I'm watch? No. Really? You I wouldn't wear one of that? No. No. You wouldn't wear that? No. After no. you get that, you should buy the I'm stupid. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want it. Sam, you want one? No. Really? No, Anybody no. out? Oh, you want one? It's yeah. so <laughs> geek tech useless. I know, but it's I'm a one fucking of those nerd. things where it's like, look, here's the phone. Yeah. Everything can I just, can I just back you up? You yes, said sir. that with the you first of all, both of you fucking turds uh, yes. said that with the iPhone and then you uh -huh. fucking ding dong said it with the iPad. <laughs> I might get the Okay, and too. both of you cocksuckers. You're right. Fucking how many iPads do you own? Probably three. Why do you fucking need an iPad, Bob? Yeah, I got a phone. I don't need a fuck I got the you. Phone. Here's what I say. Bobby, I got the phone. I got the fucking computer. Yeah. I don't need some in-between thing. Yeah, with, with and then there anger. I am, with in-between thing. Yeah. Of course, everything I say is with anger. <laughs> I don't need it, Bobby. But I will never get that stupid iWatch. <laughs> yeah, you, no. I, I guarantee fucking tea. Never. Look, both you of have you. have some lemons like your fucking bandolier, so shut up. That's not tech. Bandolier That's not tech. Bomb. Tech. That's not tech. Where is Has the bandolier? Tech? I lemons? have. I still use my. Nope, not tech lemons. Think. Not That's tech sucks. lemons. And I guarantee both of you fucking ding dongs. When they when Apple comes out and they they make this flawless and it Apple works. Apple flawless. Yes. You'll you'll both be talking into your stupid thin wrists. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will be. Mm -mm. Jimmy's gonna have to wipe cum off it from somebody else. But <laughs> you'll both be. <laughs> it's shock resistant and cum proof. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I won't get one. Yeah, you. I guarantee you will. Oh, no. Yeah, what you, you will. Your next fucking. Computer. Computerized earrings is stupid. 
<laughs> oh, look. You can talk into my nose ring. Look at this. My hat is a music box. <laughs> Shut up. My hat is a music box. You just box. press the button in the middle and it plays random uh, songs. Dude. My hat is a music box. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking stupid. Uh, I'm know. telling you, you'll have no, one. I will not get yeah, that. Yeah, you will. You will. I fucking, I will never bring this up again. But when it finally does come out from mass consumption, you know who's... Both you fucking never spineless. So. Yeah, you said it with the iPhone. By then it'll you be said something it else. With, you said it with the iPad. Watches are different. out. different. That's like no one wears that watches. That was like cutting free. edge. You got it for free. Exactly. Yeah. This is fucking no, cutting the, edge. That's the phone. Not cutting edge. I'm telling you, it looks cheap. This is it this is where it's going. See. They came up with <laughs> what's the other one? The pe uh, Peggle. They have another uh, the pedo. Yeah, they have, uh, <laughs> shows child porn on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you what do you use with that? Like, if, if you plug buddy. in your fucking Viewmaster, you can see it. <laughs> Fucking terrible. I'm telling you, it's gonna oh, happen. Gosh. And they have projectors oh, now. They'll fucking project shit right on a wall from your watch phone. Why don't you project? Why don't you project your brains on a wall? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he almost didn't get it out though. He's yeah, good. Is he yeah. excited? He got. You got to go. You put your. You put your. Uh, keep, keep the cop has uh, just been about this whole thing. BlackBerry 10, January 30th. You will all see the future. That's not a 10, stupid. It's a 1.0. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it wrong. BlackBerry would have to do something amazing to, to yeah. get their, their market share Like back. when you push the button, a little person comes out of your wrist and sings the time to you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb watch. I hate it. That is a dumb fucking watch. I, 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 please, can you, can you mark this and How record it? How often are you keep using it? it? He I, doesn't. I I use it this weekend. I haven't now. I haven't fucking. You're pulling I haven't, your phone I haven't, out still. I haven't done like yeah. there's Twitter on here. Your text messages come on here. So your phone's in your back or your your, your bag, mm -hmm. and you, you get a text message. You should look on your watch to see if you want to fucking. Yeah, if you want to see it. If, oh, it, look at your phone. Your tweets are on here. Everything's on here. Exactly. You're a righty, so yeah, it's on you, your right hand. What are you going to do? Tweet lefty and make a bunch more mistakes? What'd you say? What are you going <laughs> to fucking a, type no, lefty? No, I, I do. I'm, I'm ambidextrous. Oh, okay. Oh. Huh. What if you just take the phone out of your pocket? Uh, fucking look shut the show go. down. I'm sorry that I <laughs> left the end ready. You guys, you guys didn't have anything in the fucking cannons, <laughs> cocksuckers? No. You both went, oh. Well, I was going to say ambidextrous. I was going to say that means equally stupid on both sides of the brain. Did it? He's always got Why don't you just pull your phone? Out and look at who texted you. Exactly. That's what what if I it's do. in your bag yeah. or your jacket? It's in my don't pocket. Don't keep it in your bag or jacket. What are you uh, naked walking around with a fucking bag? Yeah. Don't fucking get mad at where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bob. Don't waterproof. get mad at where we're going. Is that waterproof? I'm telling you. What? Is that waterproof? No up way. to up to fifty meters. No, no, stupid. Good no, luck that's, 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 like walk, that's like walking with your laptop you in the rain. Your hands. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When you wash your hands, right, I don't put out. no time on computer to my wrist and wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm, dust, work, I'm working out the bugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm working out the bugs. I gotta, I gotta make, hook everything up this weekend, and it's a little hard because the fucking place is in Italy, and you know yeah, a lot yeah. of the stuff that it's the directions. Don't, uh, it's not uh, American English first, yeah. which when you buy an iPhone and mainly everything is English first and all the other shit countries later. Uh -huh. This one it like English is like in the back of the book. Oh my god. So I gotta I gotta figure it out. But I look, You buy the watch for your fun. For your fun. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the car, I, the I Ming, yeah. just wanna make sure the watch is gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a bar, a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny was hot for that watch. Yeah. We could put the watch behind the toilet. <laughs> if they if this I don't want my brother coming out with just his watch in his hand. <laughs> yeah. If they <laughs> if they fix the phone. If this update you fixed can check the phone, on it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice watch, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if well, they, if he's electrocuted by his watch, <laughs> then I'm going to blame a fatso in this room. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible to make fun of him. Uh, uh, and your uh, dumb fucking Italian uh, watch. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is fucking. Don't blame a fatso in this room. I'd rather have a Kraut Mick watch. <laughs> I, I'm fucking telling you. If they fix the Bluetooth on this, the phone part of it, yeah. and and I can get all the yeah. shit, I'll let you know in a week if you should definitely get one of these. Yeah. But right now, all they I gotta, gotta do figure is fix it out. the Bluetooth and get the time right. Yeah. <laughs> the time's right, isn't Shut it? Shut up! I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Texting <laughs> lessons. Texting lessons. <laughs> it was the best watch I ever had, and I've had it all over the world. <laughs> Yo, I guarantee you came both with have. his fat wrist and his big watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, look, me having this watch was worth it already. <laughs> you don't come to the Opie and Anthony show and show people a watch like that. <laughs> Tom, you work for Timex. You talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's too funny. Draw watches from everyone. Yeah. <laughs> We're all going to tell time on the house. <laughs> Oh, boy. That is a dumb fucking watch. It certainly is. I hope you look up while you're getting a massaging and shot right through your watch. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we, we will see. I guarantee. You don't come that... to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Wait like that. Mo <laughs> Wait. If they, if they come out with this watch, Apple comes up, you'll have one. If there's a watch on the table in the morning, I'll know we have a deal. <laughs> Pass it around. Let everybody hate it. <laughs> this is what, why, why? Do you, Sam, are you fucking dead inside? You haven't laughed at one thing that's been said. He doesn't understand. Oh, What's wrong oh, with you? girl. Oh. Uh, this is the funniest shit ever. Uh, I'd say it wasn't funny. Hey, but why don't watch? you laugh? Yeah, Johnny Ola bought it. I don't know, I laugh at weird things. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, remember when Johnny Ola put that watch around <laughs> someone's neck and they killed themselves? <laughs> <laughs> this kid's just staring like a serial, like he's going to kill us all. Yeah. I'm not Are you guys fucking anyone. watching him? Watch, yeah, right? get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sleep, maybe he's sleep deprived. I'm, I, yeah. This is what I saw. Everybody laughing and then him like this. Yeah. yeah. I, I caught that too. Yeah. Wow. Maybe he's doing work over there. Yeah, doing doing he hasn't show. fucking done. He pushed a button eight minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would it kill <laughs> you to laugh? <laughs> Say something. <laughs> I'm just worried. You're right. I'm good. Yeah. Right. Jesus Christ. He's doing all the driving. In my room. <laughs> when Bob rock. Kelly comes to eat and play yeah. his watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, fucking, I swear to God, Mike, I, I didn't like know it. you could check Twitter with it. <laughs> 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 I like it. I we'll wanted a watch. I was passed over. <laughs> it's the way Blackberry wanted it. <laughs> oh, like the way anyone else wanted it. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Mm. Ah, ah, shit. You know what I do when I want to catch a fish? I put this watch on, and they come up to laugh at me, and I grab my nuts. <laughs> 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 this is Merle. Hey, can I get a watch? <laughs> <laughs> Merle. Uh, Bobby, uh, I'm not going to get one. No one is. You, I, you, I, I, don't know. Know. No. I don't know if you'll get An one Italian of these. Italian hunk of shit is terrible. Really? You don't know. You do not know yet. Mm. I will let you know if it's a hunk of garbage. Oh, my God. I'm not putting my stamp on this watch yet. Mm. I got oh, it. No. I like it so Look at far. That. There's a fat wrist with a fish on it. What's that mean? <laughs> Bob Kelly wears the watch. <laughs> First of all, I don't have fat wrists, okay? <laughs> I'm just fucking making shit up. <laughs> I uh, promised him that his head with no brains or his watch would be on that contract. <laughs> Apollonia is bringing the watch around to you. <laughs> oh, two o'clock, five o'clock, three o'clock, Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna. Fire, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you know. But I guarantee yeah, when review. this when this the watch when like they shit. when they figure it out, you'll have one. I guarantee you'll own I a. Don't think so. You'll own a watch uh, a watch phone mm. when it no, comes out. Won't. Yeah, you will. Why don't I have just a watch now? You'll exactly. have one. I don't even have a watch. I know. I know. I know. Time. I know. And you said the same shit about phone. iPad. You saying the same shit about the I'll iPhone. You guys all had BlackBerry. Do BlackBerry. I need BlackBerry because I run a business. Go fuck both of yourselves. Never had a BlackBerry. He did. I didn't like it. Yeah, though. you loved Terrible. it. You do that. You need it because of the business. The uh, the message. Shut the fuck up. I you didn't have say a, that. Yeah, you did. No, you I gave me shit business. for the iPhone. You gave me shit for the iPhone. No, I didn't. Apple's. Yeah, you I don't did. Think it's I all, gave it's... you shit for the iPhone. Yeah, you did. You I both did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but yeah, the did. iPhone email used to not be as good as BlackBerry. Yeah, that's why they. You did. I need. Fuck them. And, and then, then they the, both have Apple it. I defy you to find. And you didn't like this. You didn't like the keyboard. No. You didn't like the. You needed to touch. You needed to tactile. Tactile response. I defy you to find a clip of me bashing the iPhone. Don't ever you. defy me. I don't Anthony. think I'm defying don't you. Don't ever that is defy gonna be like, me. I am. It's gonna be. I am. Watch. We're just walking around and no one will talk to you. <laughs> You're alone. <laughs> uh, I like. I don't know. I'm not backing this one it up. It stinks. No. Yet. Not yet. But no. you know, I think it's coming. That audio is terrible. We just, I just called you from eight feet away. That was terrible audio. It's coming out of a watch. Exactly. This no shit. Dick. That's this why is we don't fucking, want the watch. This is literally Dick Tracy shit. Yeah. Uh, you we're we're right. Say, Look at that. I'm That's, an asshole. Watch. 
That's that what it's no. uncomfortable. Well, hang on, wait one second. Go ahead. What did you say? <laughs> I said that you should say something that ties watch into it that would be funny that I couldn't think of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, he just went on a twenty-minute run. You can't. I'm all good. I held yeah. this watch up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see. But uh, I gotta get the fuck out of you guys. Where are you going? Oh, that's right. I gotta go get stairs put in. I, I have a sure. watch fixed. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm out of here. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be uh, this weekend. I hope that fucking watch gets caught in a train door and he's dragged to his death by a <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> fucking Jimmy. He's a fucking cunt. You take it too far, Jim. You take uh, it too far. I didn't mean it. You take it too far. The train would break first. <laughs> then you wonder why these savage... He creates these fucking zombie fans that just want to kill people. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bob, I hope your fucking wife dies. What? I never Jesus. said that. Jimmy, you be a fucking... That's what he does. I just said I hope your yeah, big just watch... Just shut up, you fucking moron. Oh, I'm saying your um, big watch. You're shut up. Man watch. You fucking hope I got dragged to my death. Exactly. What's wrong with you, you watch. fucking By your idiot? Watch. By the stupid yeah. watch. Oh, okay, you're you right. Check it out. Oh, it would never happen. <laughs> it takes a licky and keeps on sucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> hey, you read those for me. Oh. All right. I like the way Jimmy reads it. Uh, January 18th and 19th, mm. Bob and his dog shit watch will be at the comedy <laughs> works in Auburn. You know, <laughs> come, you know how many motherfuckers are going to like stare yeah, at my yeah, watch on yeah, stage January now? January 24th <laughs> through 26th. Uh, if, the, if the watch is still working, he'll make it to size blue <laughs> Tampa. If not, I don't think he has more time. <laughs> January 31st, Bob and hopefully his fucking handless uh, wrist will be at the Gotham Comedy Club here in New York. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, why don't we take a, a quick break and come back I and just uh, keep finish up on the show? Fat wrist in a bulletproof <laughs> vest. <laughs> to sunny. <laughs> <laughs> my wrist. Waking up in a bloody bed with my fat wrist and this watch yeah, on they it. They tap your hand like that and they stab you through the watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see. Thanks you for having me on, dude. Yeah, um, uh, let's take a quick break and we'll come back and wrap up. <laughs> this. The Opie and Anthony Show, Sirius XM. Sirius XM. Sirius XM. The Opie and Anthony Show. Ooh. Allison Chains. Burr, burr. Burr, yeah. yeah, I love these guys. Bam, bam. Uh, of course, the Opie and Anthony Show, the lovely... And talented Otto Hi. is Otto. here from the Otto and George program. Ottoandgeorge.com. Yeah. That's where you get all of your uh, Otto and George needs can be filled yeah, man. at ottoandgeorge.com. And, of course, Jimmy Norton's wonderful website. Um, yeah, jimnorton.com. Jimnorton.com, which uh, does it have those um, uh, spinning beacons at the top? And, uh, they fucking you, hunk you, of you, you, Prancing unicorns in the corner. <laughs> I'm supposed to meet with Laszlo's guy tonight, um, so that's good. Uh, yes. Yeah, I have more faith in them, <clears throat> people that actually give a shit about what they're doing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's a million it, people to do a website I know, you would think you, in this man. day and age, I know, you know, I picked the worst one. Pretty easy to uh, get a website Absolutely done. Absolutely terrible. Yeah. You pay them? Anything you can imagine. $3,000. Are you kidding me? How much? Three, Three grand. large? Three grand. That's not enough for I'm not saying a state-of-the-art website. I would have paid more. No, but I mean, yeah, it's. I'll pay whatever it takes to get what I want. Yeah. And and done properly. It's fucking terrible. You pretty much threw away three grand. Yep. Three grand. Oh, God. How long has it been up there to not to your satisfaction? A while. Oh. I mean, it was hard to figure out what I wanted. It's a whole hmm. fucking nightmare thing. Just terrible. Wow. Have you gotten offers from people saying, I'll... Yeah, a lot of cool people, but I'm like, I don't trust anybody now. It's like this... Oh, oh Jimmy, trust is a very important issue and thing in life. You You're right, I'll change. Trust people. Imagine if he gets another shitty website. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. They can't do worse. <clears throat> wow. Really? Can't do worse. Mm -hmm. So you're booked. You're eating good. Forget about it. Uh, no, but I have regular I, Joe. I need, yeah. well, I need to have one, though, for, for dates and stuff like yeah. that. You know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I wanted to go back to um, some of the uh, old Joe from, who was that chick from Miss Iowa? Yeah, Miss Iowa. From Miss America. Did I, I, I was watching Miss America, and I caught, caught a lot of shit mm -hmm. over the weekend. I was flipping through the channels. I see some hot pieces of ace, and I decided to stop and watch. And then I got crucified by people going, the football game's on. Why aren't you watching the football game? If oh. I don't care about football, why would I watch that anyway? Okay. Yeah, and that and doesn't mean you're not manly. Shit. Right. Well, apparently, it's too much I'm a football flaming on. faggot for not wanting what to watch game? football. Was it a Giants or no, Jets? No, it's a fucking, like, oh. I don't even care. Oh, dickless douchebags. I know, they're assholes. Sports fans. Right? Saturday nights. 
Dick bags. What's that? It's 49ers and the Packers. All right. I didn't care. I think. I didn't care. And then, um, so I was watching, and, and it was the question portion. Yeah. Which I love. I love the talent and the <laughs> question portion of Miss America. <laughs> yeah. That's what I tune in for. I don't like that uh, pesky bikini thing yeah. where, where these hot bitches and their giant tits are, uh, <laughs> are parading around the stage like the whores they are. See, I like that part. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, see, that's what I was saying. Uh, no, I, li <laughs> I like that uh, question and answer thing. And uh, apparently Miss Iowa was asked a question about marijuana. Very controversial oh, yeah. for Miss America contest. Yeah. Ooh, we're getting into... Um, you she know, brought it up, or they just threw it out. Oh, they throw The judges sit there, oh. and they come up with a question that they ask them. They don't know what the question's going to be, oh. so it flusters them. <laughs> They're like beautiful peacocks that have just been <laughs> flustered. <laughs> Away. They don't know what to do. They're so fucking stupid, yeah. these, these women. And uh, But they're so hot. Just base them, uh, judge them on hotness. Yeah. We don't care if they're smart. And that talent competition, one woman actually was spinning batons. Again. Like, what year is this? Yeah. 1950? That's what she should be doing. Yeah? Sure. Spin a baton. Do something cute. <laughs> do something cute, yeah. Your clumpy shoes and your fucking it was bathing suit. so dumb. And then there, well, uh, uh, I guess two or three of the girls were tap dancing. Yeah. Like an old time tap dancing That's thing. Wow. And they were white. And then the, uh, and then uh, there were a couple that were singing, and they were just god awful singers. These are all little kid talents. I yes. think a little kid, like, school a talent, talent show. talent show at school. That's what it was like. But there are women that are approaching 30. The senior shenanigans. That's what it was that's like. It is right. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> like and it, talents that you have in school <laughs> that will never apply to real life. Yeah, yeah. horrible. Uh, so Miss Iowa came out, and they asked her about marijuana. And I think she got a little nervous and screwed up something at the end. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Marijuana is by far the most frequently Marijuana used illegal drug in America. But now voters in two states have supported legalization for recreational use. Is this the right direction for our country? I think that depends on the situation. I personally know people who have had to Is go to medical sure? marijuana for their last res their last resort for their health care, and I completely agree with that. However, I do not think it should be used for anything but recreational use in health care. Whoops. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Miss Iowa, Mariah. She fucked when, up. Yeah, but when you're under that brand name of Miss America, you represent them. You can't have your own opinion. Yeah, it's very yeah. stifling. She said Stop anything but. Stop around the question. It shouldn't be used for anything but recreational use, she said. She did, oh, yeah. instead of so, medical? So oh. she fucked that one up. She said yeah. recreational and health care. And health care, so, which is everything. everything. I don't know what else, what else she's looking for. Yeah. It shouldn't be sprinkled in your eye like Visine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I, I definitely thought Miss South Carolina should have won. She um, she answered a good question too. She was uh, I don't remember what it was, right? But it was good. It, she pulled it off. I'm not saying she was a genius. And then she went and played some rock and roll on the piano. A little rock playing? and roll. Who's the old guy that used to do Miss America for years? Burt well, Parks. Is he alive? No, he's no, he's got to so be who, dead. Who does it now? Some hip hopping fucking uh, thug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Who was the host? I have no idea. I Nobody know. famous, I. Uh, I think Pat Boone took it over for a while. He did, oh. and then uh, did Regis, or was that Miss USA? I get him confused all the time. <laughs> uh, no, Miss South Carolina was not black. Um, thank you, Logan. Uh, she was very, very sexy. Though. How quick do you think Miss Iowa realized what a blunder she had made? Uh, like, like, how long did she, as she's walking off stage, be like, "Did I just fucking did say I just say that?" Yeah. Or did she get off and, and smile, and then they came up and said? Why did you say that? And she's going, what? What, what did I you say? Said, you said it should be used for that recreation. No, I didn't. No. And she's, <laughs> I said like, health care. she's like, there's no way I said that. No, you did. Oh, wow. nerds. And meanwhile, <laughs> and meanwhile, that could have completely cost her. Of course. I mean, if they're not is... going to give it to the one that fucked up the question. The whole purpose of having a question and answer portion is so yes. you know if the girls can speak and form an opinion. Exactly. Blunderbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're looking at... Um, I love Naomi you. Watts. <clears throat> Naomi Watts, yeah, yeah, you like her? I, I, I'm, I like her. Oh, there's a uh, beautiful girl. I'm doing, I'm doing Leno Thursday, and she's the lead guest. Who, Naomi? Oh, I'm doing a sketch, yeah. It's Naomi Watts. You're going to meet her? Yeah, of course. Get a picture? Yeah. Sucker pussy? Yeah, well, it's obvious. <laughs> I'm going to have you talk. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's uh, she's pretty. They had a lot of, a lot of sexy Very girls regal. on the Golden Globes uh, last night. Oh, that isn't one of them, though. <laughs> Jody, she looks Jody good for Foster. 50, though, man. Terrible. You know what? She looks good for 50. And she never looked good her entire no, life. She's just too hard. She is very hard, very sharp features. Yeah. She's not a... I was looking at her mannish thumbnail in fucking Silence of the Lambs <laughs> in a couple of the scenes when she's loading her gun, you know. Yeah, just yeah. Picturing her rubbing a clip with that and never going near a penis. <laughs> she is very uh, masculine. She a bull dagger. She, <laughs> yeah, the old she black guy say that? She a bull dagger. Bull dagger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess a bull dagger. Yeah. So she, uh, trying to say. she looks very, um, <laughs> she looks very like husky, like uh, her shoulders are too wide. She looks like an athlete, like a gymnast. Yeah. yeah she's an yeah, athletic, yeah. athletic gal. And speaking of gymnasts, uh, uh, one of the judges for the Miss America contest was the <laughs> lovely little Michaela Maroney. Did she, was she unimpressed by anybody? Did she go like she this made, ever? She made the mouth. Mm, I'm unimpressed. Mm. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, crucified on Twitter for making fun of her because, uh, as they say, what are you doing? She's a child. Oh. She's 17. Oh. That's legal to fuck in oh, just sure. about every state but I California. Oh, so you made fun of her. On, you made her your joke on her 17th birthday. Yes, I said that she could now uh, like lose her virginity or her hymen or something like that. You said, hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a broken hymen joke. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was a broken hymen joke. And then all of her little fans came out and all these creepier guys oh, I remember. that I tried to defend her. Coming out and bashing me. They did? Yeah, like I'm fucking with. You're the creep. Don't you know what this show's her. about? I like, know. you going to do something? Oh, I was in my private life. Oh. <laughs> it was on yeah. Twitter. Oh, okay. Exactly. But it even, even so. Dick out. <laughs> yeah, with my dick out, I was spanking a oh. video. <laughs> and it was some reference to breaking news. Oh, yeah. Maroney's hymen. <laughs> yes, breaking news. Yes, yes, because it was breaking. Hmm. Uh, well, she was on uh, as one of the judges, and they showed her. Uh, she, the only real pictures I get of her are the ones she takes of herself selfies. on selfies on Instagram. Selfies. And she probably takes 20 just to find a good one. Of course. To mm -hmm. post. Because they all look very good. On video, at that judges, uh, judges table, ah, really? ah yeah. there's a little weirdness going on. She doesn't look as good. No, first of all, she's a little like she got that little gymnast monster body. Yeah, they, they're weird looking, yeah. like fire hydrants. <laughs> Trained by a Russian dude. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. some fucking work harder. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then her. There was something weird about her, um, her, her nose. <laughs> like it looks cute and impish in the pictures, but you turn it one way and it kind of got a little odd. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I commented uh -oh. on that and I got in trouble too. You called her ugly. No, I called her fat. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. She's not even fat. Yeah. But I was like, oh, she's getting a little chubby. And yeah. I got so many comments. You're an asshole. Uh, what are you, 70? <laughs> Why are you even looking at her pictures, you creep? Like, oh, okay. Wow. I could agree with that at least. <laughs> it's I a, am a creep. It's a weird thing with those little, like, teeny bopper stars. Yes. That people just spend their days searching their name on Twitter so yeah. they can make sure. Because it's not like to you're. Defend them. You're, like, you know, at mentioning people. Yeah. To offend them. They're just searching out the name to make sure nobody's saying anything bad. Anything bad. And if they do, oh my God. The you, keepers of the gate. Be, yeah. Shit. Wow. And the, the creepy one, I can understand a little teeny bopper girls doing it. Yeah. yeah screw you. Because I said she's getting fat and, I got, and she should know better than anyone that fat girls are never pretty. And, <laughs> oh, and the little teeny bopper girls are just like, fat, the overweight girls can be pretty, just like skinny girls. Everyone's beautiful. You know it's like, ah, oh, that youthful fucking exuberance. <laughs> Wait till you get older and realize you're a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I got some shit from that. But I, I chuckled. But then there's these guys, like men. Uh -huh. That are like, you know, if I was her father, I'd punch you in the face. You'd probably fuck her too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are dudes that want that they, they want to yes. say what you're saying. They're completely sexually attracted to yes. her. So they're her her white knight, you know, her guardian they uh, want to save against her. people like me. And they have this fan they gotta have this fantasy <laughs> that she notices that someone me said something bad about her and this guy defended her and she's thank you so much oh well Michaela I'd do anything for you not Why knowing you... he's the much creepier of the two oh, of he hasn't actually put his dick in her yes yeah. Why don't you come over? I can meet you. Maybe you could be head of my security staff. Oh, God. Oh, Michaela, I would love that. He wants to fuck her with a corkscrew. Of course. Yeah. 
<laughs> fucking with that thing from fucking seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get this off of me! <laughs> what was it? A giant fucking blade like a sword. Yeah. He strapped it on this guy and made him fuck some prostitute. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just split her open. It was great. Yeah. yeah I remember that part. Oh, that was good. Michaela. Yeah, he was good. Michaela Maroney. Little What's Michaela. It? I don't even know. I've seen her. I don't really know. She She's the her. gymnast. Uh, the vault. She did the vault really well. She won a gold medal in the vault, and then uh, she won oh, a silver the heck the with all overall. That. And and that's when she made the face like mm, good yeah, alley oop. Like, uh, 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 uh. The face was what made her famous. Yeah, that's it. If she didn't make that face, no, no one would know who the fuck she was. If we didn't know, Michaela Maroney is hashtag unimpressed. Yes. Oh look, Michael J. Fox. He looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah medication's doing a good job right, for him. Man. Uh, his son looks just like him. That's his oh, son. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he was Mr. Uh, Golden Globes or whatever. What do you mean? Him and the, he was the guy with the girl who was walking everybody to and from the podium. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. He looks that's exactly like him. Definitely a look. It's amazing. He's a father and all that and grown up middle-aged guy. Yeah, you always just think back to the future. Yeah. It's all I think about. Alex P. Keaton. He's pretty good, though. He's not really shaking that much. I told you I saw him on a flight back from L.A. Yeah. And uh, I noticed that when he slept... He's Canceling out the turbulence? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, like, like those noise-canceling headphones? Uh, he slept like a baby. He didn't move once. Really? You know? Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's on... like, And Ali is on, I think, medication like that, too. He doesn't shake either. Mm. So I think that these guys are on such heavy med... Whatever it is, is very heavy They medication. figured it out, maybe, a little bit? To a certain degree. Yeah, He's but if you if you be knocked out half the life, yeah, yeah, life, it's well, uh, you've got to weigh the shaking. positives with the negatives. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be able to sleep though if you're shaking all over the place. Yeah. Oh, he's still married to that, that fucking Tracy stop. Pollock. Yeah. Tracy mm -hmm. Wow, man, he was with her like she was on the TV show. She's pretty man. She was Family Ties. She was on Family Ties. Yeah, she yeah, was. Girlfriend. She was like his girlfriend oh, after yeah. after the other one from the League of Their Own. Look how good she looks, man. Because he was with her for a while on the show and maybe in real life. I'm not sure. What are Skippy's doing? Oh, I don't know. This Mark is our Price. entertainment break. <laughs> yeah, I worked Mark with him. Pr He's a stand-up. Is he, is? he though? I is he really? Or does he remember. call himself one? Like fucking, like that dumb fuck, uh, Dustin Screech. Diamond, yeah. Yeah, Dustin everywhere Di I go, Steve-O was just there. And yeah. he, oh, he's a great guy. He took pictures with everybody. I go, he, that guy should have died when he was so <laughs> high. What's he going to do now? Really? He's sober. Stand-up comedy. He's actually going to be signing headshots in a, in a mall for the rest of his fucking life. He should have died like James Dean and gone out on top <laughs> with those movies. Because Johnny Knoxville's not going to do any more movies. What's he going to do no, with the, no, re he's the fucking, rest of his so, dumb sober I think life Johnny now? Johnny Knoxville has to wear a catheter now? or um, he, I, I, I've heard he does, but Johnny Knoxville's in the new uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger yes. movie. Of yeah, he yeah. Is. yeah. But he's what not do doing any more jackass movies. I think he, he fucked he broke his, he dick. his dick up so bad. Yeah, he's got to yeah, wear a catheter to piss now. Fucking or what was he doing? No, he no. fell in, like he I, either when the bull doing hit a it stunt. or it was yeah. like a bull stunt or some yeah, shit. Yeah, he had a lot of groin injuries. Yeah, yeah. they would always be like, "Hey, I'm Johnny Knoxville and I'm going to get shot with paintballs in my nuts." Yeah. And and it's, you can fuck your dick up. Crazy shit. Did you see the newest movie when he when the bull like yeah. he just stood in the bullpen and the yeah. bull fucked him up? Yeah. God, why he would you do that? Groined him with his fucking horn right yeah. in the cock. All yeah. those guys. Plus, it's gonna be a lifelong injury. Yes. All those guys. I don't think they realize. Like you know, when you're young and dumb and stupid, and you do some of those things, it's all right. But at least they got it on film. It, it wasn't for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just for the giggles yeah, of they a made couple some of drunk money. friends. Yeah. Well, he actually wears a catheter all the time. I think he I, needs I, to piss with a catheter. Yeah, I think so. I think his urethra is so fucked up. It's like yeah. a crazy straw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't really you just can't keep doing those movies into your thirties. Like, can't no, they fix it? that's just it. You, you reach thirty and forty, you're not skateboarding anymore, Troy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Troy's gonna be one of those guys Definitely. that breaks his fucking hip longboarding down fucking the Houston Street. Me and Norton have a friend, Wayne O'Drano, who did that kind of shit. I just saw him actually. But, yeah. He did, yeah. but but he didn't do it for film. He would just do it to do it. You and know, that's, that's why. Just so why? people would be talking about him. Where'd you see him? The, at the comedy cell. He just stopped in with his girl for a few minutes. Yeah. Jesus. I, I stopped talking to him after he blamed me for my friend Seth shooting himself. He's it got back to me that he said that I, I, Otto didn't do enough to help Seth and I, and to you know to plant that thought in my head that I, I I'm somehow responsible for somebody fucking <laughs> I love that themselves. whole fucking thing. Yeah. I've had that happen. One guy was all over my shit because some fucking chick killed herself. Oh. and yeah. stuff. And I had happened to uh, have fucked her. Yeah. At some so point. when somebody tries oh, to rent, time, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Name or something. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. I got you. Yeah. Well, whatever. Everybody mm -hmm. knows who it is anyway. Um, yeah, and then it's like, but this guy 
I think wanted to fuck her so bad oh. that he like blamed me or something. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, he was the friend. Yeah, don't Sorry, rent space in my asshole. head and try and make me guilty. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your mother's cunt then. Yeah. <laughs> once they realize, you know. Yeah. Once they get off the kumia cock, there's nowhere else to go. That's right. You know, it's like, what am I going to do? I got to off myself because it's just such a wonderful fucking I'm getting. A great adventure. Heard. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, fantastic. All right, uh, yes, do we have a catheter? Yeah, twice a day, and it's been three years. Uh, Jesus, oh, that's gotta hurt. He said, "No, I can piss without it. I just have to keep the scar tissue from constricting down there. It looks like a sock that lost its elasticity." Okay. Oh boy. So basically, ah. to keep this, to keep it open, he has to use a catheter twice a day just to get it in there. So the fucking, his urethra doesn't plug up on him. But that might not be now, though. So his pee uh, hole doesn't snap closed yeah. when he's yeah. finished peeing? It's, oh. I guess the whole tube in, the, oh. in his dick is like all oh, I scarred see. up. Oh, my God. You know how many times he must have pissed blood? Never, oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, I'm, getting the, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. I'm getting the queasies. Yeah, you get that. that I hate you that. You get that feeling in your balls when I somebody's hate. talking about something that you don't want to happen to you. Would you want a paper cut across the head of your dick, across ah, the hole? Ah, no, I would not. And with, Why you, you say stand that? Stand by with lemon juice. No, I don't need that. Oh. Paper cuts hurt. Ooh, look at this chip for Lawrence. How about a fucking uh, oh, the top of a tuna can scraped over your cock hole? Oh, would I want that? No. Oh, would I want no. that? <laughs> That's Stop terrible. Kissed. Ow. I guess we'll uh. see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, uh, are we going to do line of the day? Oh, line yeah, of the day. I forgot about see that. See how badly uh, you rock fucks it up, it up today? Uh, of course, line of the day is brought to you by Mask Sexual Flavors. It's the new way to foreplay. Available in four tantalizing flavors. These oral gel strips will spark to light up your bedroom flame. Yeah, it'll be the spark. They don't literally spark. Oh. That would be silly. Visit sexualflavors.com and purchase um, <laughs> those strips or, or find a retailer near you. Uh, E-Rock, if you would give us the... How many you got? We have three runners up. Three? Oh! oh all right, give us uh, number uh, one there. It's just that from now on, I may be holding a different talking stick. And maybe it won't be Strap sparkly. On. Maybe it won't <laughs> open on... Strap on. Very funny. Very good. Uh, let's go to uh, number two. Asians yeah. love smoking. The perverted, villainous way they hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> assholes. yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember when that happened. <laughs> uh, last runner-up, or Where's is this my the line? <laughs> the last runner-up. All Jimmy. right. When the, when the, they ask how the kid is, the doctor goes, "I'm sorry, but it was born dead." <laughs> <laughs> and then when the family breaks down, like a week a week later, you call me. Oh, we're, just, oh, wait, we're, just, we're just joshing <laughs> with my fucking lines. Um, that, oh, that wasn't Jimmy. That was uh, yeah, it was Jimmy. It wasn't Chip. I'm sorry. And of course, the line of the day. Here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Project shit right on a wall from your watch phone. Why don't you project, why do you project your brains on a wall? <laughs> 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 oh, what happened there? E-Rock's been uh, really dropping thing? the ball it's, today. It was he's been project your brains on a wall. Honestly, he's been horrible. At back he was terrible today. today. Terrible E-Rock, today you are really there. bad today. You didn't. Yeah. You weren't paying attention to the show. When we needed that clip, um, or Sam, any clip, yeah, Sam said you were just sitting there. You weren't looking well, for the clip, for Sam, because I was sitting here scrolling through the after show trying to find that stuff. He was chilling. Yeah. He was like, he was oh, leaning man. back. Oh man, like Fat Joe. And then when we asked you for the clip, you said, "No, I'm not looking for that because I'm looking for." And then you mentioned the clip I would ask for. <laughs> so you were looking for. It, you really you were not know you were looking for. Lately. No phones. Oh, yeah. Phones were ringing. Anything no happening? Uh, troubles at home? Uh, Iraq coming? No. Uh, Coming? All good. It's Monday. Yeah, okay. so, Monday. Like, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Someone's got a case of the Monday. <laughs> all right. Uh, everyone, what a lovely day. Um, thank you, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. The Opie and Anthony Show is pretty much Hey, hey, hey! And now, the Opie and Anthony Show continues. This is After o a Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. After Open Anthony live. Auto sticking around. What's up, man? Hi, Sammy. How are you? I'm out. Very <laughs> good, man. 
Glad to be back from Canada. Yeah, I am. The first, the first week was a horrible, off the chart rejection. I've never experienced that. And because I was, you were, because you were, because you were talking about it earlier on the show, because you were just so yeah. vulgar in the clubs, and that that's not their thing. I don't know. I bombed every show, and I was trying different stuff. I was trying to be a little less dirty. I was trying to do Canadian humor. Um, I was trying. I was watching the other comic, which I never do, to see what type of joke was working. Yeah. And nothing worked for me. It was just... And then uh, the next l the weekend I just came back from, Kitchener, I crushed. I loved you it. You did? Yeah. It's weird. It's very weird. I, That's I, so no weird. I mean, it. Comedy's a weird thing, though. You yeah. just don't know. It's yeah. the audience. So the other comic the first week was um, trying to cheer me up and keeping me from eating a bullet. And I was trying to keep him from drinking because he was... He, he had promised himself he was going to stop drinking. Uh huh. So we, we sorry, oh, your phone's my going off. Phone. Sorry, oh, it's not important. No, good. I'll have to call this person back. Sorry about that. That's fine. Hmm. So, so, so yeah, so you're talking to this guy who was trying to quit drinking. Yeah. So there was there's a brotherhood in comedy. Even though I just met this guy, he was really he was a cool guy. Canadian comics are they're treated very poorly up there. The yuck yucks chain. The, um, they treat the the staff is trained to treat the comedians with disdain. The staff of the club, yeah, like the waiters, yeah, like you, like don't like don't get the feeling you're in show business or this crowd is here to see you or you you matter. They just keep them down. Why yeah. is that? I don't know why. Because isn't the isn't the deal? It's all about so that they won't ask for more money. Yeah, but people go to the club to see you. That's true. They are the, the audience That's is true, indeed but, there but to see. They you. don't want the comedians to get that in their head. Like you matter, you specifically matter. Because I noticed when I checked out Sunday, the other comic was, had to pay for his room that he stayed in. You know, and yeah, they didn't pick up his room tab. Jesus, so yeah. we, it's like a comedians in Canada just supposed to be lucky that they get stage time? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what's the end game then? The um. Well, th there's ways around it. I mean, Jim Carrey made it. There's a guy named Mike Wilmot who I'm buddies with. He plays in in England uh, half the year. He's huge in. He can uh, name his own price when he plays yuck yucks, and uh -huh. he's got an agent in in, L in California. So he's made it. Right. Just on sheer talent, you know. It's just difficult, I guess. Yeah. Did you learn anything on the show today, Sal? Uh, I learned that uh, Jodie Foster is a lesbian. You didn't know that? No. You I, didn't watch the Golden Globes? I can't accept it until I hear it from... Uh, from the horse's from, mouth, yeah. as, it, as, it, as it were. Did you watch the Golden Globes? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to. Where are you from, Sal? I'm from Staten Island. Me too. Really? Yeah, my fifth favorite borough. I was born <laughs> in uh, South Beach by okay. uh, the Verrazano Bridge, 14 McFarland Avenue. I went to Susan Wagner High School. Oh, you went to Wagner, okay. Briefly, cool. yeah, yeah. We spent some time questioning Sal's sexuality last week. Okay. And that was all over the worst of the week countdown, right? Oh, I got plenty of feedback. You did? Oh, yeah, it was hysterical. Because he fucked this chick who works here. Okay. And see, he's a 22-year-old guy, mm -hmm. okay? So at this point, he should be, let's just say, virile, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So he he ends up fucking this chick that works here, and she's hot. I, I I've seen her. Mm -hmm. I know her. He uh, hooked up with her. He said between four and six times. Good for you, Sal. He mm -hmm. never came once. Oh, he couldn't come with this. Were you chick. banging her in the office, like where somebody could find you? <laughs> was it like that? Somebody walking in on you? No, did you ever? No. I guess that we never asked that. Did you ever do it in the workplace? No. Uh, no, I never did it in the workplace. Oh. No. Okay. No, no. But you were doing it. So it's in your private life. Yeah, totally private. But you still couldn't finish. No, I couldn't. After hearing all the feedback from people and you got, you know, the replays, have you thought any more about why that might be? That Why what? I couldn't come? That would be the question, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. It, it's just people just trying to bash me. It's not like they, were, probably, they were opening Have you ever mind. heard anything like that before, Otto? Yeah, I mean, maybe because he's, he's a co-worker and he has already, like, a like a friendship with her. That could be part of it. I don't know. A yeah. lot of friendships. Maybe he's a gentleman. Aside. He doesn't want to, like, you know, feel, make her feel dirty and you, come I upon or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, I, I, but you really should start enjoying yourself and be more selfish with these women. Yeah. These pigs, yeah. <laughs> She's going to break your heart down the road. Fucking squirt in her eye. Right. You could reach. You're 22. You could reach your own eye. And they'll respect her. They'll respect him for that, won't they? They'll always like the guy that brutalizes them than the guy who's nice. They don't want that shit, you know? Like Anthony was saying with Michaela Maroney today. Yeah. Michaela Maroney's not going to run off with that other dude, you know? Hmm. He's not going to run off 
with the guy who's trying to save her. No, no. Anthony's no. the guy with the biker jacket on the motorcycle right, the that's going to yeah. fucking kidnap her. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and she's going to love it. Most, yeah, most women, I think, want that for a boyfriend. But for a husband, you know, he pro he's probably good material because he looks like he could be dominated. Yeah. Maybe, you know, <laughs> or at least, you know, consider I'm, it. I definitely think. I de do you, when you're in relationships with girls, yeah. do they call the shots for the most part? Um... For the most part, I don't. I don't say you call shots, but I. I try to be understanding. You yeah. Know, like. uh, yeah. They call the shots. For me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's obvious yeah. to me. You gotta. You gotta increase your masculinity. I know coming from me, that probably doesn't sound. But I let Jess know who's the boss. Yeah. Yeah. It's her. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I let her know that yeah. she's in charge of things. Your no. wife? That's your wife? Yeah, said? my wife. Yeah, yeah. she's got to know that you know she can uh, think of me as a man. Yeah. Right. You know. Jess is very nice too. Jess has that strong personality, which is nice in a woman. You know, she's. What do you mean? Well, like you just even just you even fuck my wife. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a strong personality? No, I think like she she can make some like really strong decisions that maybe oh. you would have a hard time making. I can't think of an example right now, but I think Jess. What has the, a, you don't know what the fuck you're Jess talking about. Jess has a good personality. I make perfectly strong decisions. I'm sure you do. Do you think of the future? Because I think women are much better at that, thinking of the long term. Yeah, I mean, I saving like, and stuff. I definitely let my wife like handle like the finances yeah. and all that stuff. I was talking about it like last week. She's just now saying, "Okay, we got to get our finances together. We got to figure out when we're gonna, you know, get into a house. When yeah. we're gonna have a family. We got to make sure everything's prepared for." I'm like, "Okay, live for today. That's always my thing. That's all but I'm then doing." Then tomorrow comes and you broke. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live for today, but I can't eat tomorrow. Yeah. So, but that's what happened. She was like, "Okay, these this is the information that I need." I was like, "Okay." Yeah. I start printing out bank statements and huh. looking at all the numbers and everything. I wanted to blow my brain. Out. Yeah. I was like, "There's nothing here." After three seconds, your brain locked up. Mine, yeah. Yeah, too. because I'm like, I don't want to know all this information. Like, yeah. the, the future looks bleak when I'm looking at it on oh, paper. Oh God. Yeah. You know, for <laughs> us, it's like. I feel like, you know, you, you, you go through and you're just like, well, you know what? Tomorrow has the potential mm -hmm. to be great because you just keep working yeah. and you keep trying new things. And she's everything. got a good job? Your wife? She does, yeah. She's cool. making more money than cool. me. She's, she's And you reside in, Man in Manhattan now? No, we live in Westchester in the oh, suburbs. that's real nice up yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we can like you it. talk about other radio shows? Yeah, definitely. Did you hear anything about Nick DiPaolo leaving his um, sports show, the Nick and Artie show? Nick's leaving Nick and Artie? It's online. There's articles Already? On there. That's what yeah, I heard. He, he left the show. They just started, and the gig was like, it was like one of the cushiest gigs. I was going to pull it up for It you. is. Because there's nothing like that going on in radio It's in anymore. the evening, which is great for stand-up comics and junkies. It was, yeah. It's syndicated all over, and mm -hmm. it's on television. There's like, studios, we don't even have TV. The studio's real plush. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen it, and, and, and people like the show. Mm-hmm. What's it say over it, there, Sam? The, the, the final verdict, though, is it's just going to continue as the Artie Lang show. Same time, same everything. No comment from Nick on why he left, huh? Mm, I don't think so. It says... Unbelievable. Nick is pursuing some other great opportunities. Oh, okay. You don't, oh. you don't know anything about that, Artie. I, you don't know I, if no, they had any heard, personal... I heard in the coffee room, the kitchen back there, somebody say... That's the first I heard of it, that he left. That's insane. Eric, you know radio. Oh, no. Trish told me on the train. And she did. I, yeah, I, I sent a message to Mike Buschetti, who's kind of their announcer. He's done the show before. He's been in here Mike before. Mike awesome. Yeah, he's funny. So I'm waiting to hear back if he knows anything. Did you did you hear anything about this, Eric? When did you find out? I found out last night. Um and but there's the like uh, Otto was asking. There's really no explanation from Nick's side as to why he left, other than what that statement says right there. It's weird. It's so quick. They just kind of yeah. started to get a bo the ball rolling on. I didn't realize how good Artie Lang is on radio. Is he? Know. I haven't gotten to hear the show. He's really much. good. It I'd is. say he does like s more than seventy percent of the talking. Oh, okay. So it's not gonna be that drastic. Yeah, yeah. If you know you're what just I mean? Listening, yeah. But I mean, they're kind it's of, they're, the they're Nick and Artie show. It seems like Nick is the opie of the show. Like he's the top guy. You know? Yeah, they're gonna have to find somebody uh, else. I would think he's gonna need somebody to talk to you. Otherwise, it's just a guy talking. You know, right? You right, need right. a second head there. Right. In this upcoming season of Californication, Artie's in it too, and he, he's pretty good. Is Artie, he? oh, you've seen it already? Yeah, I've seen a couple advances. Artie's in there in a drug rehab of all places. Oh, good. He's really good. It's good he's getting his career back on track. What though, a blessed Artie. guy. He just seems like he fails upward. Every, <laughs> yeah. Everything he does, he fucks up and then gets another thing handed yeah, to him. Yeah, he had the Stern he, Show thing. It yeah. was all He fucked it all up and now he's on TV and has his own 
syndicated show. Yeah, and who goes on? He goes on major talk shows and talks about doing heroin. That's unheard of. <laughs> yeah, I like heroin as my drug of choice. And then movie con movie contracts come rolling in. Yeah, the book too. That it's was a bestseller. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It's I'm not good. saying he doesn't. He's void of talent. No, I'm just saying you know. But like, it's everything that people tell you not to do. Yeah. I don't know. Even Jackie Martin walking away from the Stern show, that's like quitting the Beatles during the making of Sgt. Pepper. Why the oh, yeah. fuck I mean, would you walk away from that? You that know? And that's when and that's when the Stern show was like hot. Yeah, the center of the of the show business universe. And you're gonna go have a tantrum and leave. Yeah. You know. Over what? Money? Well, he said it was money, but he was he was making a fortune and he got to plug every single one of his club dates and then sell out, you know. He probably thought he was gonna be a star on his own. And then look what happened. Thought he was irreplaceable. But right. What? It turns out he wasn't. The show just keeps moving. Yeah. Eric, did you learn anything on today's show? We play. What did you learn? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess Mr. Apple, uh, Bob Kelly, might be going the way of the galaxy. <laughs> that watch that he had is so stupid. Boy, they bash him good. Yeah. Well, I mean, when he comes in with an iPhone watch, like yeah. even though I can't imagine that the watch, yeah, is where it's going next. Like he said, like. This is the future. This is Dick Tracy shit. Yeah. yeah, but if Dick Tracy had an iPhone, he'd yeah. probably think it was a lot cooler than his stupid walkie-talkie he watch. His stupid watch. But, I mean, the, the company gave him that watch knowing that he would talk about it on the radio. <laughs> yeah. and so, boy, if they heard that shit, man. You guys come in here and just yeah. do Godfather They're going to send the fucking head <laughs> squad over here if they hear that show. Yeah, they didn't say one nice thing about it. No. Nothing. It's stupid. Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> when people had those calculator watches that also had, like, the AM, FM radio in it? Yeah. yeah. And they'd walk around with the headphones oh, yeah. off their watch the idea of wires coming out of it and going to your head is a very bad idea that's that and sounds like, awful and a phone conversation you don't need a room hearing it so you need earpieces yeah but yeah like you said you don't want a, a, a headphone jack coming from your wrist <laughs> to your ears yeah stupid he's a dumb dumb <laughs> yes uh they're giving you a hard time today eric yeah by the way call us up if you 866 wow one wow 866-969-1969 or talk to me in auto yeah uh they're giving you a hard time today, Eric. Did you feel like you weren't on the ball? No, I was going through the after show trying to find all that stuff that they kept mentioning. Did and you, then when they said, did you just hear what we asked? No, because I was going through the audio looking for the other stuff. When you come in <laughs> these days, now 2013, you know, uh, do you come in with a sense of uh, like a sense of purpose? Do you come in ready to kill it? Like, this is going to be my day. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. I'm going to or do you come in like, well, whatever. They're going to pay me regardless. A uh, little from column A and B. Hmm. How about a little from column A and a lot from column B? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do next, Eric? I, I, I'm sensing some uh, 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 contentment with this. Not and not. No, there's cont no contentment. Not not uh, not contempt, but content. Con content. I know. That's why I said content. Oh, okay. Meaning that, like, I don't think that you're eager to move forward here i don't know that there is anywhere for you to move forward well, within the show that's that's an issue too uh, not just within the show but within i guess this company the itself company. right it's like there's really not much else to do outside of this program or you know if working on howard's program or something like that out of those two shows there's really no so stepping, you are you stepping up are you yeah. telling us yeah you're in a giant market in a world really famous show right you know you're part of it you know, your name is mentioned probably every single day. You're on the mic a lot of times. It's not like he's just some Wizard of Oz that's never seen back there. Right. They Everybody knows who he is. He's daily famous. basis. Yeah. He's a famous guy. You know? Yeah. But then that and then that leads to the question, well, where do I go from here? Oh. You know what I mean? Like, Eric, are you saying you want to work on the Howard Stern show? <laughs> no, no. I'm saying that these two are the plateaus within the company. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Have you thought? Do you think about that? Like I think about that all the time. I don't know. Well, it's a tough question. You have to make your own, your, not just your own decisions, but you have to make your own opportunities to do something else. You your own just, deal. It's my deal. Yeah, you can't just sit around <laughs> saying, "Well, something's going to fall in my lap," and and I'll just go with that. What were your ambitions when you went into radio? Did you want to be a broadcaster? Yeah, I um I wanted to do radio since I was a little kid. No kidding. Like and Scott Shannon. Yeah, well, and that's what his, that's what his, uh, you know who Scott Shannon is? Yeah. Scott and Todd? Yeah, yeah. Eric's idol was Scott Shannon growing up. Up okay. until I was allowed to listen to Howard. Okay. And then, you know, it was, it was between Scott and, and <laughs> Howard. And then Opie and Anthony came along, and you were like, this yeah. is the real shit now. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, radio is pretty much all I ever wanted to do that's growing cool. up and, and got into it and, and doing all this, and I love it. 
but now it's you get to that point where you know O and A aren't going to be around forever. So what's the next step? It doesn't seem like that. it doesn't seem like you want to be a broadcaster anymore, though. Um, I do. I just don't know to in which direction though. Like because, I would never go back to doing music DJing stuff and and those kind of things. But yeah. I I would work on another talk show or you just to never been out and doing my own thing. I never feel like you're enthusiastic about doing like a show on the channel or something like that. Because <laughs> every time up until recently, every time anything would come up, it was just automatically shit on. So like yeah, but the I mean enthusiasm to do it. I could say the same thing about what I do. No, but you you started earlier on. Exactly. You just have to hit. start doing it and then once I was more focused on doing this rather than getting my own thing. Oh yeah, I was you never. You came in. Yeah, you were just <laughs> like, "Oh yeah, I want to do this so I can do my own thing." Right, right. But yeah. at least I didn't make a secret about it. No, we're, you were very blatantly obvious with it. Yeah. When when you first got this after show, were there like a bunch of meetings and with the with the heads to no, discuss can, it? Can I can I explain yeah. Sam's philosophy on <laughs> okay. this show? So someone came up with the idea, said, "Yeah, this is a great idea." Right. Sam is going to do it. Mm -hmm. But the rules for what the show was supposed to be, Sam goes, "Okay," and then does the exact opposite. That's cool. I love that. Well, I mean, that's what happens. Like, because what happened was they said, "Well, we got this time." Because it was when Ona had resigned like yeah. a couple years ago, and they said the show's ending at ten. Like it's not the uh, the reason this hour exists is so Ona can end theoretically whenever they want. Yeah, so they can yeah. run late if a guest can't get here yeah, till ten exactly. o'clock. Oh, they see. can run over, or if they're just on a roll, give you them know that I mean? leeway. Yeah, right. Yeah. So the computer doesn't cut That's them off. Pretty smart. But they are they're going okay. Well, Ona signed this new contract. They're ending at ten, or they're out of here by ten fifteen. So what are we going to do with the hour? And you know, stuff was getting pitched, but it's like. You can't hire a, a seasoned talent to do a show in this time slot because yeah. you don't know when it's going to start. Like sometimes the after show is three minutes long. Sometimes yeah. it's an hour long. Right. You know, and you can't have just a guy who's trying to do his thing sitting outside. He's going to get fed up eventually. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, who knows what the budgets were at that time? Yeah. So they were like, I was like, let's just do like an after show and put in best of clips and all this stuff. And like Eric said, originally it was like, yeah, we'll play best of clips and go over what happened on the show and everything. But then it just morphs into just doing a show. It's yeah. more fun when Who Kid and other people just stop and yeah, yeah, and they're talking. Right, the, just the, no, the randomness fun, and unpredictability. You're it. fun. You're cranky. It's fun to listen to you. <laughs> yeah. Cranky. Yeah. <laughs> Opinionated, you're funny. It's good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm yeah, trying. No, it's real good. So where are you? It always had that feeling, where, like they didn't know you were here. You were just like, like horsing around with the equipment. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's it. Didn't what have it is. the feeling of like a produced show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's because it's not. It's like really. sneaking into your high school at night and something like that. I just know? talking about the shit that's happening. Yeah, you know, just talking about what's <laughs> going on behind the scenes. Well, Eric, you should you should put your start broadcasting then. Hmm. I'm working on a couple of things. Yeah. Yep. What are you working on? Um, None of this vagaries with me. No, it's nothing vague. It's nothing that we haven't already talked about. You know, the podcast is going to be launching pretty soon. It is? Yeah. What's it going to be about? What are any of them about? Just you're sitting there talking and hoping somebody <laughs> listens to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That. that makes sense. And uh, I'm going to uh, try writing some things, too. Yeah. You're going to write? Yeah. What are you going to write? Remember I, I talked to you last year about uh, learning Final Draft and what have you? Yeah? Writing some movie stuff. You're going to write a movie? I have I have two ideas I've been kicking around for many, many years. I'm going to try Holy to actually map shit. it. Good idea. It That'd be fucking awesome. I, I, fig I figured my dumb luck, somebody will come across it, and then all of a sudden, hey, picked it up. Of course they're going to come across it. You need to write this movie so we can reenact it on the air. Yeah. Oh, no, that ain't happening. <laughs> yeah, it Fuck is. That. That's how somebody's going to come across it. They're nope. going to be like, you know what? I know they were shitting on it, but there's some good ideas in that. Let's make a movie out no of this. No way. Is, yeah. Is it a life story about like a you? live no, TV, no, like not a at all. play done on television, like these yeah. in the '50s, Studio One and shit. Yeah. Get sound effects going and everything. That that would be fun. Eric, you got to write a movie. The for way the radio show. used to be. Yeah. Door opening. You love yeah. radio, Eric. Imagine tell, getting to tell the stories. Eric's writing a movie. That's fucking awesome. Man. What what genre? Uh, genre? Did they say? Right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Hmm. What would you put it? Is it a mob movie? Um. Fan fiction. No. Is it fan, fan fiction? fiction. <laughs> Is it a Doctor Who movie? And you make up your own little storylines and twists. That'd be awesome, but no. Hmm. Uh. I don't know how. I'm trying to think. It, it involves. Is it violent? No, it's not involved. It's not violent. And romantic. 
you you kind of have to throw one of those little storylines into it. There could be, I guess. Yeah, put I'm some not nudity seeing in. it, but there could be. Does the lead have an arc? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you write an arc for the lead. Yeah. What's the what's the genre? What's the movie about? I'm I'm, I'm not going into it. A I, little bit. No, I can't. Okay, what's the genre? Uh, the genre. Uh, in, Western war film comedy no, no, musical no. love story. It has to be one of those. <laughs> yeah, no, how it's could it be space, this? space, space, space floor. If you can, what you, are one of those movies where somebody learns a lesson throughout their whole life and realize that it's they a coming up of their age film. Yeah, no, uh. like they get to the end, ending, the end point of their life and realize that would be an after school did. special. <laughs> they, yeah. Yeah. Learns a lesson. They regretted everything Fire they did hot. throughout his, the course of his life. You got to learn how to pitch a movie, Eric. Yeah. You're, you're not done yet. That's why I'm not pitching it. Yeah. You got to be able to pitch on a kernel, right, Otto? Mm -hmm. I mean, people, you got to be able to go into a so, studio yeah. and in one sentence hook people. Always be closing. Right, right. <laughs> you ever seen Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, I love Eric? That movie. Yeah. Right, well, that's what you should be looking up to. Enthusi that's and be enthusiastic and animated, and, win a and always, take always it. stand up when you tell about the movie. You can't do it from a chair. You're not yeah. Orson Welles. And <laughs> stand up and be energetic. So and, you, and don't let people like me or Sal yeah. or Opie and Anthony shit on this thing. You like make you're sure. Doing now? Yes. Okay. You yeah. make sure that you know that this is a fucking awesome Eric Nagel the movie. Hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Eric Nagel? It's a good Jerry Lewis name. Uh, CW, you're on the after show. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. Hey, just wanted to wish Eric uh, best of luck on uh, he's leaving the show. Uh, you know, uh, good luck with your movie. Uh, I hope it I hope it works out for you. And, You're ready for him to go, CW? I'm. Uh, yeah, I think it's time for the change. You know, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe uh, you know work on yourself. You know, a little exercise or something like that too. You know, he just wanted cool. to work a fat joke in. <laughs> work. On, he spent some time in the he gym. Care. <laughs> no. I think that was a nice way of saying don't let the door hit you or the good Lord split you. Yeah. <laughs> but I think. The same would be if you were saying the same stuff here. People would be calling in, ready for you to leave. That we need to change. Yeah, but I don't have my movie yet. Yes. You have a movie. Yeah, you have. This I haven't thing. written it yet. Do it, sit up. And it sounds <laughs> like like it's gold. It's about a guy who regrets everything in his life, but learns why at the end. Yeah. I will tell you this: Please if do. I do get to sell the movie, yeah, and I, I one of the um, stipulations is I get to have a hand in casting for the movie. You already have the stipulations. You don't have the script yet, but you have the stipulations. Yeah. Well, well wise ass, I was going to say there'd be parts for everybody, but if you're not interested, then go fuck. Is yourself. there a part for me and a part for Otto? Yeah, there's definitely a part I could. I definitely can think of one for Otto. For what? Sam, I could work you in like. In the elevator while somebody's talking. What do you mean, something. work me in? I should have a major <laughs> role in this thing. <laughs> work him in. Come on. You can uh, sit at the restaurant going, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. <laughs> Mago the trucker. Hey, uh, if he's writing a movie, wouldn't it be Orson Whale? Orson Whale. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, Eric? I get it. No, I don't like that. I yes, like you do. That's why you took the call. No, I didn't know what it said. I just take the calls blindly. Really? That's why your eyebrows went up real wide when you saw it? <laughs> My eyebrows are big. It's impossible to tell what I'm thinking. They always go up wildly. I have, I have a thick, I have a masculine brow on them. <laughs> Luke in Massachusetts. Hey, so I'm wondering if Eric's movie is going to have a bunch of bands doing cover songs. Uh, is this a movie about a band? That's not why he called one and <laughs> two. No, it's not a movie about a band who hears a song and wants to cover it. No, you love cover songs, correct? No, you don't. Love oh no, I do. Yes. Oh, okay. Will the soundtrack be comprised primarily? Because you, I would think one of the stipulations will be you have a hand in the soundtrack too. Um, yeah, because the way the, the songs are written into the into the movie would have a big <laughs> big piece of it. Do you see yourself as a writer director? Um, director, no, but writer, yeah. Well, obviously you see yourself as a writer. You're writing it. <laughs> yeah, you fucking wrote it. <laughs> you don't want to direct it. No, I'd produce it. You want to direct? You want to write? Who do you see as a lead? The lead? Oh, you that's said. a great question. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on casting. Okay. <laughs> but, you, all right, so. I have you, the story down. I just gotta You're work insisting on that you get to control casting and soundtrack, but you don't have any no, specific ideas. I would like to have a say in casting. Oh, you just want to be part of the team. I would like to suggest certain people. There's comics and stuff that are friends of the show that I definitely could see parts for them. You talking about Bobby? I'm talking about uh, Otto. I'm talking about Jimmy. Oh, there's, wow. There's Not Bobby. I, I could put Bobby in there. But you don't have a spot for him yet. What's 
Not yet. Is Jim Norton your guy right now in your mind? He's your leading guy? Uh, not, you know, he's not the lead for the movie, but he... Uh, he's the wacky next door neighbor. You no, know, there, yeah. there's a boss character in there that I could see Jimmy <laughs> fitting in pretty, pretty well, that he has to wear a, what is an it? old bow tie, sort of like Les Nessman. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Where does he work? What is the boss of? I'm not getting into the rest of it. You could say what he's the boss of. He's, he hasn't he, told us a, a single fucking thing about this thing yet. <laughs> Nothing. Said, I'm not getting into the rest What's of it. What's that thing where you learn a lesson? I don't know. Pushing a door that pulls? That's That was uh, that was me coming in earlier, the movie. Scooter has an idea on what the movie could be called. Oh, does he? Yeah, Scooter. Hey, how you doing, boys? What's up, buddy? Scooter. Uh, it's going to be uh, around his waist in 80 days. Is it around the waist in 80 days? No. <laughs> oh, Okay. All right. Well, that's just ideas because we don't know what the title is yet. Yeah. Um. So you, uh, where does he work? Um. He works in various places throughout his timeline, but is this like Benjamin Button? It follows his entire life backwards. Mm. No. It 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 resets his life and it goes in a different <laughs> direction. You're in love with this character that you've created. Yeah. You love him. Yes. Who's <laughs> playing that character? I then? don't know yet. Because you because you're so fond of him. I haven't really put a, a face to the character yet so where does jim what is jim the boss of that he works there jim's gonna be the boss of one of the places that he works throughout his history maybe like a, a cranky Hat, boss from um Hat Factory? cranky gm from a, from a dinky radio station oh kind of that's oh, okay yeah. so we are we are putting radio in the mix it's it's a tiny bit it's not a lot of the movie it's a tiny bit because there's more to eric i feel like this movie is an expression of e-rock's personality mm-hmm Eric, uh, Sal, are you excited about seeing this movie? Sam, I am so excited about this movie. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> it's an extension, you see. The script is an extension of E-Rock's personality. I really think it is. No, there is not. a little bit of radio, but like one one of his jobs will be he works at The Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> because Eric loves The Simpsons. No. No, 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 no. Simpsons references. No. Hmm. Would you cast Dan Castellan, whatever his name is? Castellaneta? Yeah. I don't. No, of a, a place to put him. Is there a love interest in this man's life? That I have to work on because you can't really sell movies without some kind of love story in it. Well, there should be something that at one yeah. point he gave away because of his career, and he's realizing that that was a big regret that he put he put business over personal. Yeah, yeah, you know well, that that is a big theme of of the movie. Well, then you need how do you put business over personal without a leading lady? <laughs> like, what's yeah. he just not hanging out with his boys enough? <laughs> No, it focuses more on what he does rather than who who he surrounds himself with. Oh, I see. I see. You need to blow some shit up in this movie. It sounds pretty lame so far. It sounds like yeah. a really bad movie. Are there any are there any action scenes? Uh, no, there's no action scenes in this. No action whatsoever. Auto, we don't. So I mean, far. What's your target audience with this? <laughs> Teenage women? Yeah. I'm glad. First of all, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you. I'm so excited for this. You're, not excited. You're dancing really gaily in there. Well, it sounds like you like the movie then. <laughs> are there any? Uh, I mean, what? Otto brings up a good question. These are all things we need to know before we we sell this together. We're not selling this. Your name's not on it. It's not. Completed. I mean, I can. I think Otto and me can help a lot with this. We know show session. business. What is the target audience? Uh, target audience will be. Uh, like 18 to 34. What's the main character's favorite food? I don't know. You don't know yet. You no. haven't figured that part out yeah. yet. 18 to 34 what? Men, women? I think it'll lean more towards... <laughs> favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> I figured he would have figured that out. Yeah. No. Who's his bana plans. favorite banana split? <laughs> yeah, where's the best ice cream in town yeah. for the Fried character? Fried chicken and flegel. Would, would uh, men or women? Uh, I think it's going to lean more towards guys. Roland says it's a good idea and that he knows about it. Did you pitch your idea to Roland? No, I don't think I did. Okay, so Roland doesn't know about His it. His first film is not going to be a box office juggernaut. No, no, no. I'm not no. going to need Lucas Films for this. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so far, Eric, what, 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 what's like one plot point that we can sink our teeth into? One plot point. Yeah, I mean, um, you're, you're writing this thing. Like, what is, what's the twist here? He's keeping it under his hat. I know. Or like, he doesn't hasn't thought about it. <laughs> Maybe no, that's the, what it is. He just bought the software yeah. to write a script. Unambitious and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> The twist is that he he changes everything um, in history that already happened, 
What? Oh. What, they got a time it, machine? It, no, but it, it, it the all... The Nazis win. Yeah. The Nazis <laughs> have won World War II. Yeah. yeah. Everything not, in history that's ever happened, he changes. No, not like that. Oh, you said everything. No, well, from the point that he goes back to and, and starts his life over. In this one, Hitler is the host of The Price is Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> so what, he changes his, his, his own history? His own history and world history. What? With what, a time machine? No, not with a time machine. Well, what does he use then? <clears throat> Something happens. He winds up back. In the forties, <laughs> and then has to live, and has to live his life. You have him, you have him going back to the forties. Does he yeah. does he kiss Henry Henry Winkler in this at any point? It sounds like fucking Adam Sandler movie at the remote control. Yeah, thing. click. Yeah. Except <laughs> click. I'm back in the forties. Yeah. Are you a fan of the era of the forties, nineteen forties? Yeah. No, but I'm I'm a fan of what he does going back through the decades. So you think that there is sort of a desire that audiences at home are like, you know what? I like these movies I'm going to see, but not enough of them take place in the 1940s, yeah. you know? Target audiences are people who miss slower, fucking more dangerous elevator rides. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the 40s is kind of... Where does most of the movie take place? In the 40s? No, throughout... Uh, throughout time. Up, yeah, and comes right back up to modern day. Is this sliders? Budget's growing. <laughs> cars, costumes. Yeah. Is this sliders, the Jerry O'Connell series, where they're just going <laughs> through time and space and nothing matters? No, that's alternate timelines. No. Oh. Alternate this, dimensions. But is he alter? But he, he he's altering these dimensions. No, it's it's going. No, I'm not explaining the rest of this. Why not? Because it's not done. Yeah, but we need to brainstorm here. Bruce Eric. Willis no, can don't. play the elevator operator. Yeah, is this like yeah. Looper? In the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Looper. Looper? Is that what this is? Were you watching Looper? No, and being I like, seen God Looper. damn it. It's a stupid title, Looper. <laughs> Looper. Yeah. So who is the elevator operator? I didn't know there was an elevator operator. Well, of course there's an elevator it's operator. It's the 40s. It's the 1940s. What other, that was one of the biggest jobs in the 1940s. Let me see. A lot of people are coming up with title suggestions. I'm sure they are. We'll go to Ryan. Ryan, you have an idea for a title of the movie? Yeah, I do. I think it's called Fat to the Future. Is it Fat to the Future? Uh, Eric? Is that the... <laughs> no, that's not it. All right. Do you know what the title is? I have a title. Can you tell me what the title is? <laughs> no. Why? Because it's not done. Is it Eric Nagel, the finished, movie? And it's not... Uh... No, legally, legally taken care of yet. Oh, because you need because everybody, you can't copyright a title anyway. No, but you can copyright your uh, your script and, and everything else. They're all picking on you, Mac. Yeah, but if you just say the title of the movie, it's no. a, what, do you, what do you think Tarantino is listening now? And he's like, yeah, it's a great title. No. He, yeah, no, he just has an idea for a movie, it sounds like. He hasn't really written anything. He probably I have know a how lot of ending. notes. I just yeah. didn't know how to write it into... Um, a movie. Do you format. know how it ends yet? Um, the, the, the there's a couple, <laughs> a couple of different endings. <laughs> well, yeah, because of all the different eras, right? No. no, I'm just trying to narrow down which mm -hmm. way that the movie is actually going to end. Which ending it's going to be? Do you want me to talk to some of my Hollywood friends and see if I can get you connected? What Hollywood friends do you have? I know a lot of people. Like who? Justin Stangle. He's in the movie business. I don't know. He's like <laughs> a Jewish TV guy. He's got to know movie people. Yeah. Hmm. Is it a comedy? Are there funny scenes? There's there's funny scenes. Yeah, it? you're right. Yeah. Not a pain. You, you considering yourself like a like what what kind of funny? I like would a, say this whole movie is more of a drama, but there's funny scenes in it. Could we call it a dramedy? <laughs> could we go that uh, far? Maybe depending on how the rest of the scenes work out. Let's start moving towards dramedy because people love to laugh. Like let's think Judd Apatow. This is forty. Yeah. Something like that. You know what I mean? Something lighthearted. Like this is forty. But we'll call the movie This is the 40s. Yeah. No. Because that's where it's taking place. No, that's the starting point. Now, are you just writing The Great Gatsby? <laughs> I never read it, but no. Because Boz Lerman already has that movie. You know, he's doing it. 3D. Yeah. I don't know what the story is. All right. Well, I'll give you the inside scoop, Eric. The inside scoop is on Steven Singer and Steven Singer Jewelers. Steven is a genius, like you. Like, Eric, you're a genius when it comes to screenwriting. <laughs> Steven is a genius when it comes to helping you select the right gift for that special someone. You mess up with your Christmas gifts? Probably. Why not? Don't worry about it. Steven will guarantee that you hit a home run for Valentine's Day, and that's more important to your chick anyway. He's got the perfect gift for Valentine's Day, starting at only 69 bucks. It's a real long-stem rose dipped in 24-karat pure gold. 
These roses last forever. You'll get credit for this gift for a lifetime. Why talk about Valentine's Day now? It's so soon. Well, Steven Singer sells out of roses every year, and he wants to make sure that you get the first shot at ordering his brand new hot pink love rose. Limited quantities are available. Reserve yours today. Steven makes it so easy. Go online to IHateStevenSinger.com. Click on the real long stem rose. Choose your color and have it shipped to your door for free in a beautiful gold foil gift box. Each rose comes with your own personalized message. This is a guy you can trust. Visit him in Philadelphia at the other corner of 8th and Walnut. Call 1-888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER or online at IHATE-STEVEN-SINGER.COM. You know, Eric, it's like Steven Singer is to Jules what you are to movies. Wait a minute. Anthony Kumi is listening. He says, I, I'm getting a text right now. Uh-huh. And the text from Anthony Kumi says... It sounds like the biggest piece of shit you've ever heard. Or he writes, like OMG, I'd love to smash Eric, but this sounds like the film of the century. I swear to God, that's what the text says. I read it word for word. I swear to God, I'm not putting words in Anthony's mouth. Maybe he wants to invest. Nick, I, and, and, and that is open now, but he has to make sure he gets in at the ground floor. I can get him a producer credit. Nick, in Ni you can't get you a producer credit. Nick, in Niagara Falls. Hey, guys. Um, I've always thought of myself as a, a leading man. Yeah. I was just wondering if I could be a leading man in Eric's movie. You know, he puts me in his. I can put him in mine. Will you put Nick in your movie, Eric? No. You don't have a place for him yet? No. So he goes through the 40s. Does he enter the 30s at all? No, no, no. Not, no, of course not. That's ridiculous. 50s? Yes, goes through through all the decades. He goes 40s, 50s, 60s. That's a lot of budget. 70s, <laughs> 80s, 90s, 2000s, and the 2010s. That's eight decades to go through. Yeah. How long is this? <laughs> Sal's laughing really hard. How long is this movie? How long are we planning? Yeah. <laughs> Sal's crying like a bitch. We think it's just 90 minutes on the movie? No, uh, yeah, it'll be under that. <laughs> it'll be under 90 minutes. Yeah. We're talking 10 minutes 80, per... 90 minutes. Yeah. We're talking Jesus. 10 minutes per decade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot of time to cover the decades, Eric. Fuck. <laughs> that really is just not a lot of time to cover everything, you know? Not well thought out at all. <laughs> no, and really, oh, no. I feel like you might need more than... Under hmm. 90 minutes. You might need more than 85 minutes to go through all eight decades. <laughs> Maybe. But I don't know movies like you know them. <sighs> Anthony says he has experience with movies, Eric. This may be good. Okay. He writes, I produced that movie in the bathroom this morning. <laughs> uh, okay. And it was a KFC oh, night I last see. night. So uh, you know what he did in there. He was in there for nine minutes. Yeah. You don't right. piss for nine minutes. But don't let He's joking, though. He's trying to. You know what Anthony did just then? He figure he'll get a joke in, and maybe maybe Eric will write him in for a nice little comedy scene. Maybe somewhere in like the sixties. <laughs> maybe in that ten minutes, you know. Yeah. Anthony even has a title for the movie. Does he? Forrest Gut. Forrest. <laughs> He's thinking. You think of something like that? Forrest Gump did travel through the decades. You're no. a little bigger than he is. Forrest <laughs> Gut could no. be something. No. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to let Ron and Fez take over now. All right. I'm I'm just happy that Anthony is listening, and tomorrow. We'll get to hear, I'll bet, a little more about Eric's uh, <laughs> cinem cinematic uh, aspirations. I had no idea this was even in your brain. A fridge too near. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, stay, Otto. Stay tuned. Ron right. and are next. Thanks for hanging out, Otto. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Sam. Goodbye. Goodbye. The Opie and Anthony Show is now over. For real this time. Check out the ONA Show on Facebook at facebook.com slash Opie and Anthony. And catch Opie and Anthony live Monday through Friday from 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Ron and Fez are next. Hey.